Hi, stream. How are we all? <laughs> yes, Duke, we're already live. Luckily, stream couldn't hear you. No, 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 no. Stream couldn't hear you up until now. Now everyone can hear everyone. I trust that. It's just like... Hello, hello, hello. You know, I got Hi, gang. So, uh, this week there is no Dungeon Select. Unfortunately, we are a couple of players down, and instead, because we are all D&D addicts, I decided that I would run a one-shot. Um, because we are some players down, we have some, some wonderful guests with us here tonight. We have Baudi, and we have Ismira. Uh, we are going to be playing through a one-shot that's called uh, Troubled in Wieldham, which is... Uh, available on DMs Guild, pay what you want. So if you like it and you want to run it for other people, go get it. Pay whatever you can, be supportive, because it's a cool one-shot. I haven't had loads of time to prep. This was only set in stone, like, Tuesday, Wednesday. So things might not be as polished as they normally are, and that's fine, because it's a one-shot. Yeah, I run this shit normally, it is never polished. But I'm <laughs> um, if, I, if I could... Look, listen, if I spent even a fraction more time doing my prep and stuff things would be way more polished i just don't have the time counterpoint if you polished. prepped more shit we'd go the other way that's true that's true okay I mean, at the end of the day you're prepping shit for the ragtag fuck with so. that's true <laughs> <laughs> i love that that's stuck like an offhand comment has stuck as a semi-party name ragtag fuck with. okay so before we begin i would hope at this point that everyone knows me dutch duke Baudi has guested before, but not in this campaign, so would you like to introduce oh, yeah. yourself and plug your stream a little? Hi, uh, I'm Baudi. Uh, love D&D. Play d and in another campaign with uh, Laura as a DM and uh, Duchess and Esmera as players. Uh, I stream on Twitch, mainly Overwatch right now, uh, and doing another thing with Sekiro, uh, which is uh, playing it blind, because that was what we unlocked during the uh, uh the the awesome charity select a literal recently. blind playthrough it has been yeah. hilarious watching there's a second cam that shows that baudi's monitor is turned off and like laura's trying to describe where they are in the game and baudi knows more yeah. about the game than laura does so he's like oh i know where we are and laura's like really i have no idea <laughs> Laura knows nothing, and I, I have over 600 hours into the game, so I know pretty well where we need to go, what we have to do. But to convey that to Laura, and then getting like the directions right, and just, just the movement in itself is is so hard. I did not expect it to be that hard. Yeah, the platform is a big challenge in the fight. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 100%. Sure. Uh, yeah, the fights are very, like, you know, you have audio cues, so you can kind of like, oh, yeah. I know that I staggered him now, so I can go for the finisher and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whereas platform, like traveling around, is just uh, everything it's, sounds the same, man. Good luck. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard, and people actually do this entirely blind without like help from people. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. We also have with us the very wonderful Ismira. If you would also like to plug your stream, you've been on for a few and one I'm shots. I'm wonderful and not a nerd. <laughs> I'm being um, nice, okay? I'm being the host. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm a wonderful nerd. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I play. I also play in the Call of the Nether Deep campaign with Dutch and Bowdy. Um, uh -oh. I have had the pleasure of being in the Witcher charity one shots DM'd by the lovely Dutch. Um, so that's been great. And I feel like maybe someday there's going to be a third one. Maybe, hopefully, I think. <laughs> Um, Wilhelm yeah. finally gets a tower and a bath. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what you're talking about. The washing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, on over on my stream, I am finally getting back into Elder Scrolls Online after many many months of not being able to play it and stream it at the same time. Um, so that's been really fun. I'm really excited about that, and. Uh, yeah, that's kind of all I've got going on right now. I'm going to be doing Hope Miss with Team SideQuest, which I'm on with Laura um, later in December, so that'll be cool. But other than that, everything's just kind of chill right now. Oh, before we begin, seeing as it is a Sunday, even though it's not official main quest, uh, does anyone have any announcements? Yes, I do. Uh -oh. I'm glad you asked. Um... <laughs> No, uh, yeah, so it's like, 
like Vinny said, uh, we were a couple players down, so we opted to run this one shot instead. Next week, we'll be back for your regularly scheduled DS. Uh, we have three more sessions to go before we go on our holiday break. Um, so, you know, and during that holiday break, you know, great time for you to catch up via the YouTube. I'll make sure that Belle uh, is caught up by then. If she doesn't accept my help, I will just give her my help regardless and she can s s just swallow in her pride <laughs> for once. Um, so yeah, uh, other than that, uh, I, I'm going to shithouse this today, so be prepared. Good to know. Good to know. Anyone else got any announcements? Nope, no. Cool. No Koi verse, no snack segment, unfortunately. A Coke. I, I have chips. Cherry Pepsi Max and some animal biscuits and some pom bears because I'm being pom a semi healthy boy. Pom bears are like 90 calories a bag and have been my saving grace through this weight loss. <laughs> Dutch's laugh was funnier than the joke. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So. Characters in this group are all semi recent graduates from the Waterdeep Academy for Fine Adventuring. They've been sent out on a quest to investigate the town of Wildham where there have been strange reports about vandalism and things disappearing in the night. Let's begin with character introductions, and let's go go clockwise for the stream. So, Dutch, would you like to go first? Oh boy, would I. <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, we're just doing looks, right? That's just do, doing right now. do as much information as you want to give with the knowledge okay. that you've all at least been introduced you all know each other and have traveled for a couple okay. of days at this point. uh well my character's name is uh nobody even though uh the reason as to why uh nobody really knows <laughs> um a small like three foot and some change uh tall verdon which are small little green goblin-esque uh creatures um, <clears throat> dressed in uh, just whatever clothing he could muster at the time. Uh, very just like oddly put together outfits um, covered by some leather armor. A, a belt filled with daggers and short swords and all kinds of pointy sharp things. Um, <clears throat> no hair on his head. Two gold like rings that pierced through his ears. And that's what he looks like, really, yeah. Duke, would you like to introduce us to your character? Me? Yes. <clears throat> uh, my character is Gartix Boror. He is a centaur. Um, standing at about, you know, about eight feet tall. Um, he's got a large glaive strapped across his back uh, called uh, Langerzan. And... Uh, some javelins and a, a spear as well sort of strapped across the, the back of his uh human humanoid uh torso uh and then you know he's got he's got his his backpack of of supplies from across the horse part um he's just a sort of middle-aged gruff looking uh sort of fey um humanoid and a nice a nice chestnut <laughs> stallion the rest of the way uh he's got a long uh, well groomed beard and uh a shaved head that's tattooed with um thorn vines and and sort of uh, roses and whatever else you know just sort of strewn across his scalp and that's the man's hair loss came naturally and he's rolling with it uh, absolutely <laughs> absolutely half human but horse red counts, horse red counts. <laughs> Okay, uh, Baudi, would you like to introduce your character? All right, uh, my character is Exio Valar. Uh, he is a Leonin, um, but he is uh, completely white. His entire fur is white, and he has red eyes. Uh, he's got some basic leather armor uh, and some uh, some 
interesting looking uh, gloves. Um, or gauntlets, I guess you could call them. Um, and he's got uh, two uh, scythes uh, strapped to his, his belt and, uh, uh, and a bow over his shoulder. Hey, it's Mara. Oh, good. You're muted. Ooh, muted. Good job. Everything's going well. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do push to talk. Nice. That's rude. Um. Okay. So I just animals in my room make noise. So. <laughs> How dare they? I know. How dare they exist? Um. <laughs> So, Autumn is about 5'10", so not, like, super tall for an elf or an Eladrin in this case. Um, she's got kind of gold-toned skin and freckles, and um, she wears black lipstick. Um, <laughs> she has gold eye makeup, like someone else we know. Um, <laughs> And she's got just, like, wild red hair. Um, and her eyes are... Her eyes have black uh, sclera and gold irises and cat-like pupils. Um, and she's got light brown antlers and a red rose headband. And she wears, like, basically any of her clothing if it's not just, like, straight up shorts or like something very practical it wraps in some way like a shawl or like a wrap dress that like ties off real cute and everything like she loves the wrap thing just the ease of taking everything on and off she's all about it um she's got a quarter staff i believe let me double check yeah she's got quarter staff a couple daggers a hand axe um and she's got like animal teeth as as earrings. Okay. So. This morning, you all left the comfort of the staghorn flagon in the vale, followed the long road in the direction of Tribor. Late in the afternoon, you took a trail into the westward, where a marker pointed in the direction of Weedham. You marched on into the woods, and a long day, and it's getting awfully dark between these trees. Begin to feel the efforts of the day in your legs come across a clearing that could potentially make for a good camping spot. From what you've been told, Wildham should be another six miles or so where you are, which is roughly two hours hiking. What would you all like to do? Would you all like to hike through the night? I mean, that's uh, this looks like a good camping spot, right? So you know, could also just camp here for now. I'm not for camping. I'm exhausted. Let me camp. I'm sure your little stubby two legs are getting more tired, so probably better for you. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. Your little stubby legs are getting tired. You said it yourself. Let's make camp. And I will uh, start throwing a little, little campfire together. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to go look for some berries to eat and make sure that there's, you know, no one here to eat us or anything. Yeah, but that. If you'd like to. Yeah, sure. You have to eat us. I'd like to see okay. some fry. So, Autumn, you'd like to go foraging with the help Basically. of nobody. Okay. <laughs> you can either nobody make... Nobody helps me. <laughs> you can either make independent survival checks, or Autumn can make two survival checks. Or within that. What would you like to do, nobody? I've got a plus five. What you got? Ah, you can have advantage then. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> do I have d20s? I should hope so. Should we are playing 5th really edition. So for a Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> oh boy, I rolled double threes, so eight. <laughs> okay. Good, strong first roll. 
few... There's very slim pickings. It's not... The trees themselves seem healthy enough. But especially on the area of the trail that you're on, you get the impression that a lot of the bush has been cut away to allow for travel and trade out of Wieldham. Find a handful of berries, but you're not entirely sure what they are and whether they're good to eat. I'll show them to nobody and just say, I mean, I'll try them. Sure, that's a good idea. What? You sure that's a good idea? Oh, um, how much could it hurt, right? Mm. She's gonna pop one in her mouth. Okay. Hey. Okay. Roll a d6 for me. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, listen. Two. Okay. <laughs> He has a, talk to you when you're dead. It has a tangy, mildly bitter taste. It's not necessarily unpleasant, but it's maybe not what you're expecting. Apart from that, as far as you're aware, nothing else happens. I have a feeling that our friends wouldn't like these very much, and she's just gonna like drop them in the forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gatix. You recall yep. that the instructions you were given were to open your first letter when you arrived on the outskirts of Wieldom. Are we calling this the outskirts? That is entirely up to your character's decision making. Six, six miles from a small town? That's not the outskirts. I'll save it for now. Okay. <laughs> So you all begin to make camp. Is there anything anyone else would like to do? Um. Yes. Can I? <clears throat> this might be a bit of a. Given that our 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 quest for berries kind of kind of failed. Let's see. Can I? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It, it, the thing I want to do is based on something I can see, so never mind. Oh. And you can't see. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> okay, so is there anything anyone else would like to do? No, not in particular. Oh. Make the camp nice, you know? Campfire, some logs, any logs around that I might be able to. Make a survival check. Or an investigation check. Dirty 20 on survival. Okay. You find all the necessary wood, uh, tinder, that sort of thing, to make a decent enough campfire. This will keep us warm through the night. So, uh, if you have bedrolls, and I certainly hope you do, make yourself comfortable. Any word on the berries? They taste like shit. They really weren't very good. Sorry. I have rations. You have rations? Yes. Oh, yeah. Have rations, yeah. Rations it is. You um, open up your portions of rations and there is a couple of pieces of like jerky meat, a handful of nuts, and dried berries, and a very hard on the exterior roll of bread. No. I mean, got to be better than the berries, right? <laughs> Whenever uh, Autumn goes to sleep, she's just gonna whisper. Be free to her staff of the python. Okay. And he's just gonna curl up and kind of be her pillow. Okay. Is this Before something that Autumn's done? I really relate to that. Is this something that Autumn's done before? Probably. So you're all maybe not accustomed to the sight, but not terrified by it. Um. 
So is everyone Let's going see. to rest? Do I know, like, the context of why we're going to this place? Like, do we know? Or is that, like, it's in the letter XD, you haven't read it yet? Um, it's in the letter, I just, well, it's in the letter, right? But we have The very it. basic, you were... So, so you are all semi-recent graduates of the Academy. And the large majority of people who can't afford to pay off their, their student debts essentially remain uh, as employees uh, slash... I guess subcontractors of the academy. Um, so you four have been put together by his mother, who's the head of the academy, and asked to travel to Wildham to investigate disturbances, and that's about as much as you've been told. Oh, that's like it's like a investigate strange things. Yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah. Okay, in that case, uh, when I'm getting ready to go bed, uh, I'll I'd like to use. An ability called Whispers of the Dead. Okay. And for those that are still awake, you'll you'll see nobody just kind of. So what does that mean? So if I do this and and then and just talking to nobody really, he's just talking to himself. It would seem. Uh, but what he's actually doing is he's talking to a a ghostly presence and it's sharing knowledge with me, so that I can choose a. Uh, I can just choose a skill to be proficient in for the next day. Okay. Oh, yeah, what do you okay. choose? It? Nope, it's a, it's a saw knife thing. thing. Phantom rope thing. Oh. Yeah, get so, uh, I'll go for Arcana. Okay, good to know. Is this presence that he's whispering to a certain lich? You, you don't see anything. You just see me talking to myself. No, I'm just this. I'm just just curious. Just curious. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> it fucking is. Because it fucking is. <laughs> Okay. Um, Does anyone okay have? Huh? Oh, are are you okay? Yes, we talked to my friend. What, what what friend? I don't see anyone. Oh, he left. Oh, oh, okay. I would like to use magical awareness. Okay. To uh, open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Um, I know the location of any spell or magic item within sixty feet. That isn't behind total cover. Okay. Outside of the magic items that your party carries, nothing strikes you as out of the ordinary. Nothing, nothing pings. Interesting. Okay. Um, I just like for a moment, the like Gothic's eyes flash a kind of octarine and there's this kind of pulse through the tattoos along his body and then it fades and unbothered he sort of gets sits himself down by the fire you would on some rations you would notice your own glaive you would notice you would notice uh exio's gauntlets okay. you would notice the now Python, the autumn right. rests ahead upon. I'll be comfortable. And you would not notice anything on nobody. The bag counts as total cover, Dad. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just, um, I, I was mainly looking for presences of who this friend might be, so nope. probably just pass that off as mental illness and move on. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay, that's Can fair. You keep watch. Yeah, probably, probably. I, I, probably. Autumn, you don't need as much sleep as some of us, right? Um? You only need four. So your long rest oh, is still okay. eight hours, but you only need yeah. to be in a meditative trance for four. Okay, and I wasn't sure if last... that applied to Eladrins as well. Yes, so uh, yeah, either, like super elves. either two <laughs> either side or the first four or the last four, you can be conscious and doing light activity. I can take um, first watch. Sure, I'll 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 take I could take like the middle four no, just kidding. Um the last four one. hours. You could take the middle four. You could take the middle four. You could sleep for two <laughs> you could trance for two hours. The middle four I'd be How long has that cat been there? Because I just the entire time. The entire time. <laughs> you it's it's not a cat, it's a snake that she's resting ahead of. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You right, could right. take the middle four. You could uh trance for two hours. Oh, okay. Watch yeah. for four, and then transfer two hours. 
put it in the last place. How long is these watches? An hour each? Oh. Um, two. I think yeah. If you guys do two, I can do four. Then I can sleep the whole night, right? I guess. Yeah, I guess well, so. I guess you could. Okay. <laughs> and, uh. Lucky I go to sleep. you. Okay. Go to sleep. You go to sleep. So then, am I to believe that nobody is taking first watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nobody's I can't believe you let nobody stand watch. <laughs> okay. <Right here. laughs> you are about halfway through your first watch. The others have slowly drifted into slow, apart from all. A calm, still, meditate. Autumn likes corpse pose. Unless you knew otherwise, you would swear. <laughs> the other two, the occasional. Sit back and you ponder on some of the information you've given her. And as you stare forward, James flicker up. Light catches about half a foot of Hard to make out against the firelight, but something I'd like to something as in an object or something as in yeah i'll pick it up see what it is yeah. go over to the front yep yeah a small sharp papered point material that big I'd like you to make an investigation check at i'm good at those do i get any bonuses for that because i'm sick No. Being sick makes you investigate better? I guess. Uh, <laughs> 14. Okay. You're pretty sure it's bone. You're pretty sure by the general texture and porous nature of it and looking around the edges, you're fairly certain it's very old. And this just appeared. It was there. Someone may have. You nobody has noticed it until now. You, your best guess would be that when setting the campfire and brushing the right, right. leaf so canopy off the floor side, that looks old. Looks old, and also because of how clean it is, you don't think it's been here a long. Don't think it was been deep in the mud. You think, it, uh, along with the leaf, the the forest floor of like half decayed leaves, okay. as they've I'll, been pushed away to clear space. I'll hold it and I'll keep a hold of it. Can I look around? Like any more of these like bone pieces just kind of strewn about? How long do you want to spend looking around? I don't know, ten minutes or so. Okay, you take ten minutes. At the very least, within a comfortable proximity of your campfire, there is no other piece. Oh, weird. Huh. And I'll just kind of finish my watch, and then is it, am I waking up Exio, or am I waking up um, Autumn? You were going to second? wake up Autumn. He's going to do the middle four okay. hours. I'll, I'll, you know, when the time is up, I'll, I'll wake up Autumn, you know. I found this, this piece of bone. It's very sharp. Like a fire. When you wake her up, her eyes snap open and she just sits straight up. Oh! Like. What was it you said you found? Like a piece of bone. It's pretty sharp. It's made a fire. A sharp piece of bone. Hmm. You no, said bone. it was by. Bone. Yeah. Here. I know. Reach um... up and like, give it to her. <laughs> well, I'm still sitting probably. Oh, so. Okay. But. Um, I don't really level. know what to do with this. Um, I don't know, I just found it. Can I try to discern, I guess, what it is? 
or are we messing with audio things? Uh, you're trying to discern what the bone is? Yeah, like, I don't know if I can tell the animal or if anything has been done to it by a human or um, you know, sentient. Make an investigation object. check for me. Investigation? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a 12 minus 1 for 11. <laughs> Other than what nobody told you? Man. Or it's a bit of bone. Interesting. Interesting. Well, um, and you couldn't find anything else like this? No, I looked around for like 10 minutes and there was nothing This was else. just by itself? That's so strange. I wonder yes. what it came from. Well, I'll hold on to it. Maybe we can show it to um our centaur friend since he's going to get the best rest out of all of us. Probably. Okay. All right. I'm going to go sleep now. Wake me up before I'm about to die. Of course. Have a good sleep. Good night. Good night. And I'll have my python friend on my shoulders while I do my watch. Okay. Uh, I would like you to make a... <laughs> I just realized I have, a fucking, I have a passive investigation of 90. <laughs> the 9. Oh, <laughs> and that's because I have a plus 5 to perception. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. That's cool. <laughs> Luckily. Oh, good. So. Maybe 40 or so minutes into your watch. You're staring out into the so focused. Very. It brings this sense of. Snap out of it. Very faintly go. On your head. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I do not remember having any of these spells, but okay, great. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just try to go toward it very quietly. Okay. I would like you to make a stealth check for me. Ooh, ooh, okay. God damn it, that's a seven. Okay. What is going on with your Why am I rolling? Right I'm shit. rolling a different Are one every good? time, too. Because... You're just cursed. So. You, uh. Follow along with the. Cat is trying to climb up my desk. Nice. What do you want, you little shit back? Mine is serenading me by the door. Thankfully, Discord can't hear. Okay, so you follow along against this lantern light. I would like for you to make. I would like for you to make a history check. Come on, here you go. This is it. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? That's, you know, twelve minus one. You <laughs> vaguely recall during your training at the Adventurer's Guild that there are some form of necromantic creatures that lure unsuspecting people away with lights. No way. <laughs> okay. You can angle a fish in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> How uh how far am I from the rest of the group? Uh, about 30 40 feet at this point. 
You've moved fairly slowly and cautiously. All right, I'm going to crouch down, which makes me like nobody's height. <laughs> Nobody. Right, come on, and listen. no need. <laughs> um and I'm going to since you presumably went to sleep the most recently. Oops. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Trying to wake you up. I don't know if it would. Do I, with a passive perception of 16, do I hear that? At a whisper at 40 foot? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. That's right. Um, so she'll just start, I guess, kind of like quiet. She's a genius, you guys. Um, she's going to start kind of quietly crawling back toward camp. And Are she's like, going like, to... Um, yes. Crawl, like... Yeah, and she's gonna she's gonna send uh, her snake up ahead of her, and tell tell him to wake up nobody. Okay, does your snake have a snake name? Snake gets confused and doesn't wake anyone up. <laughs> <laughs> does your snake does have a name? Um, snake. It's a no snake. <laughs> okay, it's a no. the autumn calls her snake snake. <laughs> It's what? I would just like you to roll a flat d20 for me. Oh, Jesus. 17. Okay. Oh, there it is. Nobody, right. you wake up to the feeling of someone touching the side of your face. He's a gentle Not boy. Not now, Kinky, I'm busy. As you go to move your face, there's something scaly. <laughs> <laughs> there is a snake <laughs> curled up on your chest, just sort of tapping you in the face with its tail. Yeah. And I, the whole time that the snake has been doing this, I've been just crawling back toward camp. So I don't know if he'd see me in the distance if he were to look around or what. But <laughs> well, now now that I'm awake, I'm like, you see, you see Autumn about ten feet water. away from you, just <laughs> crawling along the floor. Uh, Once I'll, I'm like uh, within our camp, I'll stand up. But I have limited telepathy, so I'll just like, I can I can communicate simple ideas or concepts with any creature I can see within thirty feet of me. Okay. So uh, I'll just like. In the back of her head, she'll hear. You okay? Can she respond that way? Does she know she can? Nope. <laughs> well, she's still gonna think. Yeah, uh, something weird's happening though. But you know. Autumn looks at you silently. She thinks it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but when she gets there, she'll just be like, "Didn't, didn't you hear me?" Oh, I can only, I can only talk. I can't. No, it's not how it works. Oh, well, that's just silly. Tell me about it. <laughs> um, well, there's something weird. There was a weird light, and it was kind of walk It was walking away from us, right? Yes, it was bobbing away from you. Okay, it was, it was kind of bobbing away from us. I don't know. It reminded me of those stories that we were hearing about, like, the necromancers or whoever they are. Romantic is a sham. I mean, but okay. I still, if they're not good people. Oh, maybe that's why we found your bone. Maybe somebody got killed here by those people. Or things. Well. And we're next. I don't know. Do you think we should wake everyone up? They were going away. Wake up! Oh, boy. Wake up! What was it? I know, I found a piece of bone and, and, and Autumn saw some weird light trying to lure her away or something. Just as a clarification, uh, with limited telepathy, you can respond. Oh. No. Within 30 feet. <clears throat> but it's very, like, only basic concepts and ideas. You can, like, have full-blown conversations, right? Okay, so I still looked at you silently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, I it, like it's... basic concepts and ideas is about all Autumn can manage, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> it is It is very much like... Listen, it's only a nine, okay? Yeah, it's not so, a six, so like... Nine. It's like... So the best way to think of it, it's like you're playing a team game and you're trying to communicate to someone with Fortnite emotes. You've got the ping. You can like, get the, yeah, the context yeah. Ping, that's about it. You get the general gist of whatever they're trying to tell you, but it's slow. It realistically talking okay? is often faster. Oh, Zambique. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, some some way going on, guys. Where are they? Take me to them. 
I don't. Uh, well, they they went off that way, and obviously she'll point whichever way they went. But I, I didn't really see light. them, I just saw the light. Make a perception check. Dang and blast. That is a eleven. Do you I'm have dark vision? One. I don't. I think what? I don't. What? Hold on. You're half what? animal. What the fuck? Yeah, but the top half with the eyes is <laughs> half. <laughs> the part with the brain is human, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm today, but I, I do not have dark vision. No. Which is wild. I don't know why Faye's normally I get dark like vision all because Faye it's not dark there. Have... Dark no, because it's not dark yeah, in the true. Feywild. world. it's not dark. It's not, I ever. Guess, but you're... No nighttime. It's never dark in the Feywild. world. I also yeah. found this piece of bone next to our fire, and I'll... Autumn has it. It's very sharp. I I'll hold it up, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to hand it to him, but accidentally hand it to him the sharp side toward him. Looks very... looks very fresh. Just... and I'll <laughs> grab <laughs> Autumn's wrist and, like, turn her hand around <laughs> and take the bone. <laughs> Can I get a better look at what this might be? Make an investigation <laughs> check. Third time's the charm, right? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 19. Okay. No, 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 19. Everything the others say to you makes sense. It's a fairly old bone. It's beginning to show signs of age. You say it's sharp. It is sharp. Has it, it been worked to make it sharp? Or no, it, it, it appears sharp? to have been a an arm bone or a, a maybe a longer bone in a small creature not entirely sure what it came from but it does appear that it was broken in half there's a joint at one end right is there marrow in it no Ooh. does it look like the marrow has been, have a snack? like extruded it's not clean inside it appears I'll say with a 90, it appears as though the marrow has decayed. Okay, alright. Naturally, not like... Yes, naturally. But it is cleaner than you'd expect if it had been on the forest floor. So you agree with the initial assessment that it wasn't originally here. Something has moved it. It has been put here. Can I... Maybe not put intentionally, but yes, it was, it was not <laughs> severed here. Where did you find it? In a fire. I want to clear the forest floor around the fire and see if there's any more bones or even like shallowly in the dirt. Maybe we accidentally took the necromancer's camping spot. If they had dips, that's not okay. You don't find anything of interest. Just you lose. That's Money's true too. They didn't put their name me. on it. Well, what do you all want to do? I, they walked away. We could probably still rest. I think I'm back. Yeah, wake us up, wake us up again. Yeah, and I could use some more sleep. Okay. Nobody. <laughs> oh. Before you go to sleep. Not okay. As the, <laughs> I believe the individual with the highest mm -hmm. passive perception. Yes. Yes. Probably. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Very far, about 70 feet away from the camp, there is a small bobbing light. There it is! Autumn <laughs> shoots well. I guess Autumn. As you shout out, the there light, it is. But... The light moves behind a tree. It's hiding behind that tree, guys. How far away? Like 70, 70 feet. Did we, see, did we see it before it hit behind the tree? Yes, briefly. Okay. Can I, hmm. can, can I, I try and throw... sneak up, can I try and sneak up on it? Just like stealth. Make a stealth check. Bet. <laughs> I'm invisible, bro. 24. 24? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you about 30 seconds or so to get there, moving at a slow pace to remain stealthed. Can mm -hmm. I throw a javelin at the tree? You want to throw a javelin at the tree? Yeah. Make an attack roll. Gotta make it a disadvantage, because it's out of my effect. I'll just move up 10 feet, throw a javelin at the tree. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. 11. 
11. Yeah. This javelin thuds into the top of this tree at about 7 feet off the ground. Nobody, you're about 33, 30 feet away at this point, and you can see there's just a very dim light behind the tree. You've not quite got close enough yet to see what's casting okay. the light, I'm but you can see... 30 feet from the thing. The thing was 70 feet. You've, my you've... boy moved up 10, so I'm 30 feet away from my boy. Yes. He I'll throws this javelin I'll, I'll, I'll telepathy before, before anything else happens. He throws this javelin. You are close enough to watch this light blink out. It just fuck off? Like it's gone? You can't see what the source of this light. You can see the light that it's shedding light. behind the tree. And you see that disappear. All telepathy. The light disappeared. Like, Come light out gone. from where you're hiding. He's so extra. I'll move up as well. Okay. Can I get closer? Still hidden, hopefully. And see if I can find anything? Go for it. Keep moving up. Can I... There is nothing behind the tree. As you as you're pondering this, you hear the galloping of hooves as I run up to the tree and fucking pull my javelin back up, throw it onto my back. You Nobody. Scared Where away. is it gone? You scared it away. Nobody. You oh, feel a cold sensation pass through your shoulder. <laughs> Oh, as in uh, the thing? Is it? Uh, I instinctively whip out a dagger and just stab whatever I feel. Make an attack roll. Instinct. With disadvantage. Do I? Wait. We see anything? You see? see anything? No, because you don't know where nobody is because he's stealthed. Oh, that's well, right. I wrote up, unless I fucking trampled him, I'm right there by the tree, but. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, 11 and 12. With, so 11 plus 15 to hit. You swing your dagger. I'm not entirely sure if you connected with anything or not. You feel no resistance. I felt it touch me. Do I see it's... nobody at this point? Yeah, if he says that, do we do we know where he is now? Yes, nobody has revealed himself. It was right here, guys. It touched me. Where did it go? Can I use my magic awareness? Yes. Again, I've got one more charge. You can use your magic awareness. Do I sense any fucking spooky ghosts? Let me just read the specifics of magic awareness to know how it's, much I give you. You know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. Any spell or magic spell item? Spell or magic item. So I guess if it's a magical creature, maybe not. But spell or magic item is the... Uh... You know there is a, a spell that is now about 30 feet away from nobody and trailing further away. And which school of magic does it belong to? It belongs to Illusion. As soon as it blinks up, can I sling a javelin at it? Yes. Make an attack roll. Uh, regular attack roll or with a disadvantage? Or regular, because it is invisible, but you know where it is. So I will say, for this and this single attack roll, you do not have disadvantage. Yeah, this bitch is eating javelin, dude. That is a 24. Okay. Roll damage for me. Oh, six points of damage. Okay. You throw this javelin. It passes through the point of origin for the spell as you watch the spell blink out. And now there's just a small fist-sized orb of floating light that continues on its path away from you do i have any do i have any memory of what this could be or do you have proficiency in arcana hell no do you have proficiency in history hell no <laughs> does anyone in the group currently witnessing this have yes nobody has arcana right yeah i got arcana from uh, does anyone else have arcana game? or history proficiency not me okay Nobody. Make an arcana or history roll. 
12. Given that you've seen it shed light mm -hmm. and go invisible and you're now looking upon it, I'm pretty sure that this is a will-o'-wisp. Oh, guys, it's a wisp. Mm. Is that bad? Do we, do we need to worry about that? Well, they're pretty dangerous, but they're very hard to hit. But if it's fucking off, maybe we should just let it be. Yeah, might as well. Not here, I don't, I don't mind it. How dangerous? Well... How much do I know about Will-O-Wisps? You know... About Will-O-Wisps specifically, you know that they in themselves are not incredibly dangerous. But they are... They are malicious. They are malevolent. They are known for... Luring people away to separate them by appearing as lights floating through the forest or through fog. We'll be fine if we stick together. As long as nobody trails off, we'll be alright. They try to single people out before they attack them. Autumn's, like, struggling to pick up her python and hold him, which he's totally tolerating, but it does not look comfortable. She's like, are you sure we'll be okay here? Yeah, if we just stay at the camp and make sure that, um, you know, we stick, to we stay together then and nobody trails off, we'll be fine. In my head right now, nobody is still just on the floor at the base of this tree I just, <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna lean down i'm gonna pick nobody up throw them under my back and uh oh right to wherever my javelin was so i can pick it up and go back to the camp okay so you go collect javelin, your I'm sure it's fine. you go collect your javelin it's embedded in the tree this is after i threw it through the wilderness right Oh, yeah, it's embedded yeah. in another tree. It's a forest. Okay, it's okay. pretty hard to not hit a tree. Yeah, just making sure. Just making sure we're on the same page. <laughs> okay, so I still have my javelin. Yes. And then, yeah, I'll just go back towards the campfire. Okay. I, I, go, I, back to, I go back to sleep now. Put nobody on the ground. That's okay. Yeah. Good night, yeah, nobody. Too. Just just wake me up whenever it's my time to, to take watch. I will. If it comes any closer, just, you know... Wake somebody up. Let, let us know. Not sure, it. I'll just scream. As if nobody wasn't bad enough, but okay. What the fuck is that mean? <laughs> You're screaming. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Let's see how my voice sounds, man. I know what you want me to do. Just do that with a little bit of uh, you know, roll here. <laughs> there it is. There it no, is. No, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I can slap him on the back of the head. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> as you watch this lucky brutal, you there, you know. as you watch this brutal display of violence, <laughs> does anyone else have anything they'd like to do before they return to their rest and watches, respectively? No. No. Okay. Autumn's just gonna be talking to Snake. Okay. Um. Nothing in particular, just chit chat, you know. Oh, you sh. Oh, no, no. Your watch no, passes so by crazy. fairly uneventfully. <laughs> Do you wake up Exio for his watch? She almost forgets to because she's watching <laughs> the forest just be beautiful and chatting with her, her buddy. And then she turns to him and says, Oh, yeah, we need to wake up our friend. Um. Do you want to do the honors? And she'll send him over to wake up Exio. Exio. <laughs> you begin to wake up gently to the sensation of something pressing your cheek quite firmly. And uh, do, do I realize what it is right away? or What do you do? Do you open your eyes? Do you reach for I, it? Yeah, I, I, I try to like brush it away a bit. It feels no scaly. Way. And oh, 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 hello, hello. You're, you're, there is a snake on top of snake. you. You're, you're Autumn's snake, right? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll head over to Autumn and, and give her back her snake. <laughs> Exio just like... sort of holds your snake, <laughs> and you can tell that that your snake has wrapped around his arm to stay on because he's picked it up like he's a pool noodle and just held it out to you. And as you hold your hand out, Snake climbs down your arm. 
Yeah, it was, it was okay. It Put was, him on my shoulders. Yeah. It was a bit much unexpected, but it was okay. He wrapped around your <laughs> neck like a fashionable feather boa. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'll okay. go let him curl up and use him as a pillow for my corpse pose again. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you see anything while keeping watch after we woke up? Just how beautiful the forest is. Okay. I'll just keep watch then. Okay. Good night. Good night. Exio, I would like you to make a perception check for me. Perception check. Natural 20. Natural Hell 20. yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, we were ramping up to it. Throughout 17, your 19, watch. 20. <laughs> and you notice the same light or multiple appear from different directions at different points of the night about 70 or 80 feet away. None of them stay for more than a couple of minutes, and none of them seem to approach. They right, just as as... hover at the edge of your vision, bobbing up and down. Okay. As long as they don't approach, I will just keep watching and not really act on it. Just okay. Stay focused on, on none of them what approaching. Is, what was this forest called again? You are currently in the Westwood. Oh, okay. Not, not too poignant, then. For a fucking block of willow wisps trying to Westwood. Are we close to the mall? No. The only mall you might get is if you find a bear. It's, uh, uh. it's Clint's cousin. <laughs> I Clint hate you Westwood. so much. I hate you so much. Okay. I hate it. <laughs> Other than that, your watch goes by uneventfully. You can watch the sun begins to rise and flood mm. the canopy of the trees with light. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll just wake up the party at some point, once uh, everyone's had enough rest. Autumn's eyes were open this time. <laughs> Nobody died? I don't, I don't know, know, did you? Do. Yes. The, the, the west doesn't do anything, they just floated around, just, uh, about, like the outside of our circle here, but nothing approached. Weird. They would have well, actually killed you if you would have caught, been caught alone. Yeah, that's why I didn't chase them. I just, uh, I just stayed with us here. Suck the life force out of you, you know. Yeah, that, that's not nice. That sounds so scary. Legend has it that they, these wisps are like the spirits of dead people trying to find a new body to inhabit. Mm. Let's just admit. Then they're probably not responsible for this bone, right? That would be. Uh huh. Uh, breakfast? Yeah, lots of breakfast and uh, uh dried and fruit and nuts and meat and mm. Mm. we could always go looking for berries in the daylight this time. Yeah, I could help if you want. Sure. How about uh maybe I'll go look for the berries now? I, I don't have to build camp or anything and Yeah, I'll be here. Okay. You want to take snake with you? I'll be fine without the snake, actually. I, uh, I'll be okay. Well, if you say so. And she'll just like continue chit chatting with the snake and with everybody else as you go. <laughs> snake the snake. Snake the uh, snake. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna go, even though I have no fucking idea how to search for berries. I, I'm joining you. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. You can either berries. both independently make a survival check. Or, oh, mm, the or one of you can make it an advantage. Right? So, and I have plus three hmm? in survival. I have a plus four. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you have, you uh, have the background. Have, uh... B -b 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 yeah, I don't have the background. I was just like, if you have, which one is it? Out Outlander or something where it's like, yeah. you can always find berries in water. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I guess I probably could have also used that. <laughs> Do you if have, have Outlander? That. I don't remember. You don't remember. Well, no. I got a twenty-one on survival. I do have no, it. No, have you, have, one you have one. Yeah. You have one. <laughs> <laughs> to roll, but whatever. It was in character, you know. <laughs> in character, she could have found food for you, all, but she didn't. <laughs> she just wanted to spend time with nobody. Okay. <laughs> I often want to spend time with nobody after D and D. Twenty-one. Give me 
Give me some berries. 21. Okay. You... Give me some wild carrots. Find you find a handful of what you believe to be blackberries, as well as some wild root vegetables and some wild garlic. I was going to say, if I only had a handful, I would eat them and not I'd just tell everyone I didn't find anything. <laughs> Uh, that was there as well, so you know. Damn. That's true. You'd have to share with at least one person. Autumn. <laughs> you just like, just, God thinks, and he just turns around and just <laughs> berry juice on himself. <laughs> Nothing here. Let's go back. <laughs> this is a red berry juice, so it looks like he's murdered someone. Just... <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we head back with our with our bounty, our our foraging bounty. Cool. Autumn, I would like for you to roll a constitution saving throw, please. Shit, that's oh. right. Saving throw? Oh. Yep. Because of the berry she ate? Maybe? Berry she ate last night. Wreaking <laughs> havoc on me guts. Eight. Okay. Yep. That's with my plus three. Oh, okay, no. good to know. Dude, you're rolling like ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lucky me. I mean, surely ass is on brand after some bad berry juice, because... <laughs> Be a so, Gartix returns to the camp with his provisions. I just, just kind of. Oh. Yeah, no, I probably just dropped them all on the forest floor in a pile. There you go! Fresh forest goodness. And then I eat the handful of berries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. So you just dropped it all loose? He just dropped like, loose. Not even on a cloth. Yeah. So he's just, dropped just loose you go, wild root vegetables and wild garlic. Probably not enough to to fill the three of you. Even if he was full on berries. Yes. Supplement the rations. It would supplement the rations. You can, you know, make some fancy ass garlic breads. <laughs> but, uh. Lit, dude. Autumn will you know, attempt but... to share a berry or two with Snake. I don't know if he'll want them, but she always offers. Let <laughs> me just double check something. Hey, do snakes eat berries? Eat berries? I <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Is she like like mice and shit, right? It's fucking swallow yeah, a whole ass a whole rodents. ass mouse and whatever. It. It loves blueberries though. He's a skink. That's pretty close. Is it? Do you? Have you seen a skink? It's basically a snake. Do you say snake anything yeah. to the snake when you offer it the berries? I'll just say like, "Do you want some?" Kind of thing. It just sort of looks at you blankly. It does. Does it even like sniff at it? No. <laughs> no. Or I guess, at it. <laughs> a <little tongue> flick. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> She'll just yeah, okay. Suit yourself and keep eating. Okay. I mean, this man really did Google if snakes eat berries, didn't he? That's no, I did. didn't Google. I had to look at the item description for I'm this. I'm gonna staff. Google it. Shit. I had to check whether or not it rebecomes a staff oh. after a set time. I think I just have to tell it to. Yeah, you can just tell it to be a staff. Yeah. Snakes do not eat berries, everyone. <laughs> Normal. But what about staffs? Does staffs eat berries? <laughs> Doubt it. it. We figured it out. Okay. <laughs> One shot They're over. obligate it... carnivores. Int I love that term. Does anyone else have anything they would like to do before you continue on to your destination? No, sir. I'll just tell Snake, okay, it's time for us to walk now, so staff time, and turn him into a staff. As you're saying this oh, and cool. holding on to your snake, just drops to the floor as a, as a staff. Oh, it doesn't stay in my hands? <laughs> no. Why? It just because you're trying to hold on to a moving snake as it turns into a staff. Because it has to be fully extended to turn into a staff. Otherwise, you're just going to have a loop of wood. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> Fine. Because I said so, and I'm the Put DM. Shut then. the fuck up. Whoa, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> right. Who's that angry voice I keep hearing? It's crazy. <laughs> I think Oberon is angry. So, who is leading the party down this trail? Me. 
Oh, obviously. The centaur. Can I hit your eyes? I can see really well. Might be better if I shit on your back no. or something. I can see really well, no. man. Like, really well. You can sit on my shoulder if you want. Oh, nice. You know, climb on the shoulders. You make idle small town during this. It takes about two hours of walking. The path isn't particularly treacherous. It's wide enough that you imagine you could get one cart comfortably down it, maybe stopping at points if you had to pass someone. It seems relatively clear. As you trek out of the forest, the track emerges to a large clearing, and you see Wieldham lying in front of you. There are some 40 or so buildings in a very mixed style, some relatively new, some fairly old. The first buildings you pass as you walk into town. Wait. Would mm -hmm. you say that at any point we would be on the outskirts? Yeah, I think once we'd left the forest proper, I would read the letter. Okay. So as you're walking down this path, Gatix pulls out a sealed letter. <coughs> just as we're walking, just kind of... Adventurers, good luck on your very first mission outside of the city. Your task is to make contact with the leader of the town of Wildem, Narder Helmet. You will find him in the town's inn, the Laughing Squirrel. The town of Wildem has been plagued with weird events in recent weeks, and it is your job to put a stop to it. I expect that it will be easy work for recent graduates of our fine academy. During your stay in town, you can sleep and eat at the Laughing Squirrel for free. Enclosed with this letter, you will find... A letter addressed to Narder, a sending stone with which you can contact me and a bag of one-way holding to put the payment in once you've completed your mission. Good luck. You do indeed also have the other items mentioned and have had those during your travels. Hang on, so we put our money into that bag for them? I think yeah, we put the up. reward money in the bag. No. So they can cash it? So, sure, but then don't we get paid? You also, all uh, have not worked outside of the city, but you all have taken jobs for the academy before. You've all graduated from there, and then because of that, you all owe a debt of tutorship and college fees. So instead of hanging over your years for 60 life, the way that it works is during the time that you work there, you receive uh, bed and board, food any reasonable gear that you might require and a fairly reasonable monthly paycheck and then anything that's unspent from that goes towards paying your debts so you gather that this is going to go to Ismelda, the headmistress of the academy who's then going to put it in a ledger who's then going to keep track of your expenses and write off your debt tom nook style up. <clears throat> what if we just don't, you know? Think about that. Find out. We, just don't. We, 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 we graduated. Fuck them. You know, we could just go. Right? We can petition them. the government for student debt cancellation. <laughs> True. That seems kind of mean. Well, a price of learning, I guess. You already graduated, man. What is for say to learn? I mean, there's no cash we anymore. To, yeah, we, we still have to pay for that, right? So I feel like there's a flaw in the system because if we just choose to not pay, what are they gonna do? Take our degree back? We already have it. I guess that's true, and people a lot worse than that end up in adventuring parties. POV, exactly. student housing converts to ca to communism. Or anarchy, depending. Anyway. Laughing squirrel? Well, it says here we get 200 uh, gold in the bag. So they but, get 200 gold. We get but none. What if, no, what if we changed it to say like 300? 
and then we put 200 in the bag and then split the 100. Wait, why would you? S oh, I see. Wait, so we have to show this letter to them? This other letter is for Narder. The other this letter is unsealed. I feel like they probably already discussed the pricing and stuff among them. You know, our headmistress and this guy. So we we try to like to say put the reward money in the bag, you know, because then we wouldn't get to see it. Whereas now we have to see it, and that kind of sucks. <laughs> Maybe it's you know it's a mental game, man. Well, let's just see what the other letter says. It's not sealed, right? Well, no, it says uh, in front of you, you have the very finest adventurers water deep has to offer. I have no doubt they will quickly figure out what has been going on in your town. As per our agreement, please put 200 gold pieces in the bag they carry that has the academy's insignia on it when they leave town. Yeah, as per our agreement, as per our agreement, so they already know. So yeah. they already know. I guess we cannot charge more then. But we can tell them tips are appreciated. Yes, <laughs> right. Sure. We say we get paid below minimum wage and it's made up for in tips. There we go. Right. We could try that, I guess. 20%. Do any Just of you like have a noble background? Industry. And her right. nose starts bleeding. Noble background? <laughs> Hell no. Man. No, we've got a far traveler. We've got an outlander. We've got an acolyte. <clears throat> no. <laughs> and I I don't know what Axio is because it's not my campaign, so I can't look. Oh, oh my accent, but... mannerisms, figure of speech, and appearance all mark me as foreign. Yeah, no kidding. What, what no kidding. Uh, what's your character's background? Uh, it's a custom one farmhand. Okay. Nobody's really the only person that has any real concept of like the money and what is a minimum wage or a fair no, wage on the sword no, coast. No, 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 no. We we all went to school and graduated, so we've been living in this economy for some time, right? That's like true, we that's know true. how money works. Yeah, no, you do understand how money works, but also, like, you don't have much context to judge what you're paid against anything else, other than the, this doesn't feel like enough. Autumn probably also has the same concept of money as, like, a ten-year-old does, because they wild shit. And also, yeah, but, no memory I mean... of who she is. <laughs> so, God, whatever she's she seen at bet. school... <laughs> We've been, we've been in school for a while. Nobody... Okay, to graduate. The allowance that the school gives you is pretty good. And you know that you could at any point leave their employ and pay off your debts a different way, but this is probably the fastest and quickest way to pay off your debt. Mm. If you don't mind just going the potential the risk factor. Why does this I man should... not want us to scan the quest giver so bad with Rowan? This man mm -hmm. wants to finish before 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Listen, well, we can ask him for tips because we don't get to see any of the money that we make, but, you know, it's what it is. Okay. Nothing well, squirrel. Let's go. What would a squirrel that last sound like, guys? What do you think about that? Probably something like you laugh. I don't know. I almost said that. Mm. You fucked up. You guys are bullies. I mean, no, I adore you. Your laugh is probably very sweet, don't but also me. probably very high. Don't patronize me, I'm like over it. Very sweet. <laughs> For the record, I think it would be sound something like, <laughs> you know, something like that. Exactly, exactly. What probably, I said. yeah. I think pro that already sounds pretty similar to when squirrels bark, anyway. Bark. What does a squirrel's bark sound like? That's like that. Yeah, basically. Okay. So I assume this conversation is you had so as you're walking. Are you so happy with this decision of yours? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can always just call in sick tomorrow. We can play till 6am. Oh, no, we <laughs> Dutch is the one that an hour, Dutch Dutch and Baudi are uh, an hour ahead, yeah. so it's it's them that's gonna suffer most if we take forever. Well, yeah. Fuck it, it, like his has got like a party to go to or something. Like, how long can we go? 
It's fucking weird. Anyway, crack on. Let's go. <laughs> We're walking and talking. Okay. Laughing squirrel. The first buildings you pass as you head into town are a large farm and a mill. As you walk the path past, a couple of people look up at you or out of their windows and you suspiciously before going back to what it is they were doing. Oh. Hello. Oh, why don't they like us? The moment you look at them, tighter to me. The <laughs> moment you look at them, they sort of there's no outward aggression towards you, but a few people will look away and not meet your eyes or make themselves busy with whatever they were doing. There's a couple of children that sort of wave at you. I and sort of half behind their parents' legs, but but do wave. Um, as you walk further, you pass a couple more houses and a blacksmith's before arriving in the square in the middle of town. Do we see the laughing squirrel there as well? So, in the the square itself is not paved. It is just dry, well trodden dirt. In the middle, there is a statue of a man holding a sword and wearing a helmet. Across the square, there is a small town hall, a few houses, the blacksmith you just passed, and off to your right, the laughing squirrel in. Well, looks like it's there, guys. Shall we, shall we go? Hi. Sure. And Autumn's just, like, kind of distracted by the statue as they walk by it, and then... <laughs> I happen to know who the statue is depicting. Make a history check. Oh, the natural 19. 21. Okay. Hey -yo. Um, you don't recognize the individual, but your general knowledge and reading of the town before you got sent here, you know that the statue is of Geoffrey Holt. Who is said to have saved the town from a pack of bloodthirsty wolves a long time ago. This is probably one of maybe two paragraphs you were able to find in information of the town that didn't sound like boring drivel of this is another hamlet. They have a blacksmith's, guys. It's a very the small, quiet town. Is really good. <laughs> you we got a target coming. There's you... maybe 150 people. You th do you communicate that? Dutch. Uh, yeah, I'll basically go in. Yeah, it's this Joffrey guy. He, like, saved the town once because he killed a bunch of wolves or something. He killed a bunch of wolves? Yeah. Please. Oh. I hope he gets statues made of us after this. I don't know about all that. I mean, a pack of wolves? Who knows what we're dealing with, but I could kill more than a pack of wolves on my own. Maybe it was actually werewolves. And they just didn't want to scare people. That would sound way cooler. Well, you right? You would go, uh, you'd surely go with werewolves anyway. But there are children living here. I don't know. People do weird things to history from what I've read. There is a... A... a lullaby for uh, you know, my clan actually similar uh, about the wolves you know don't let your feet hang out of the stable or the wolves will bite you or something <laughs> oh yeah. that sounds very specific mm, well with wolfy times you know and the wolves where you from yeah bears wolves wolf bears bear you laughing squirrels Never heard the squirrel laugh, probably because of all the wolves, nothing to laugh about. Mm. Crying, screaming squirrels. Where's your nature does that? Mm. <clears throat> anyway, speaking of squirrels, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fit through the door? <laughs> 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 oh, no. It's like 
It's like preemptive Karen comes out. It's like, can I get through the door? Do they have centaur access, or is this some ableist piece of shit establishment? There is not a dedicated centaur access. It is a double door. Centaurs walk you will downstairs. have to duck a little, but yes, you can you can fit through the door. Is the Wait, no. tall? Well, I'm not that tall. I'm only eight. Cows tall can't walk you? downstairs. Uh, t 250 centimeters tall or something. I'm gonna pretend I know how tall that is in inches. What's the word for the horse, the back of a, it's just like a... The oh, ass? Not the ass. <laughs> no. The booty. Uh, the withers. <laughs> At the withers, I'm like five foot tall. And then it's man, another like three feet. So about so eight feet. foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like 250 centimeters as well. So, yeah, I mean... You're lucky that space isn't at a premium here. You definitely in the city have found some of the smaller shops to be not very accommodating to your height. Like the cross beams of the roof, I'm like leaning on the <laughs> on the cross oh, yeah. beams. But at least the ceiling. There's high. you have to sort of move around the the hanging chandelier. Yeah. But Ga like Gandalf in a hobbit hole kind of yeah. situation, but not completely impossible. So it's a large stone building. It's fairly old, but it appears to be well maintained. Uh, right above the door hangs a wooden sign depicting a very large, very happy squirrel. As you enter, there's a large common room with a number of locals who all appear to have mugs of ale. Maybe a few of them appear to be having something to eat. Um, the majority of the locals look up at you as you come in. Ow! Nobody really appears to react, Hi. but they're all definitely very intently watching what you're doing. Treat them like a biblical angel. Be not afraid! <laughs> there is a, a half-elven male gentleman behind the bar. He looks at you all and goes, Ah! You must be the adventurers we've been informed of. Yeah, that's us, yeah. Yeah. My deductive skills have no no peer, it seems. Please, please, come come in. Uh, Nada! As he calls out, uh, an older human male um, comes around the corner, appears in some sort of minor hurry. Very, you, you would hazard a guess that he's in his, like, early 60s. Um, his, he has quite short, uh, cut hair that has been balding for quite some time and not like a full beard, but the, a couple of days shadow, um, some very heavy bags under his eyes. Ow. I will hand him the, well, I'll just hold out the letter. You just hold out the letter? Adventurers, I, I've been quite eagerly waiting your arrival. He takes the letter off you and begins to read it. Okay, okay. What do you want? So, we've had a number of usual events within the town that beginning to get to the point of more than a mild disturbance and has begun to unnerve many of the folk who live here, myself included. What happened? Um, nothing in and of itself. Terrible, but just small events here and there that have been incredibly unsettling. We've had, what happened? We've had a number of things go missing in the night. We have had more than a few reports seeing movement at the edges of the woods. There's been... Lantern light? Some have reported lantern light, yes. Some have just simply reported movement. There's been, mm. been vandalism on the properties around the edges of town. Things have been destroyed, fence posts stolen. Is the vandalism still there? Like, could we look at what was drawn if, it, if something was so, drawn? So nothing's been drawn, just, just damage. Things have been oh. damaged. 
people have taken planks of wood off of fences and, and broken open gates and trampled crops. Local football team won any games recently? Sounds like a hooligans. No. We don't get <laughs> many visitors out here other than traders. Nobody's been have hurt yet. Been angry? Maybe, maybe someone got a bad deal. Well, that is precisely what you're here to find out, not me. Nobody's been hurt yet, but quite a lot of the populace have begun to get antsy. And I'm worried that things may begin to turn in an unsavory manner. There have been thinly veiled accusations levied towards one another, and I do not wish for mm -hmm. this to continue and break out into violence. What's the, um, like, leading, the leading idea right now? So, like, any, any theories? I myself have no idea. You know anyone in this village that's already done some investigating that we could maybe talk to? Nobody has managed to find anything concrete, but you are welcome to talk to everyone, and I'm sure they will tell you no, their own stories. Concrete. I'm just, I just got here. Do you have a sort of, um, like, a town leader? Are you the town leader? I'm the, the closest to what you'll find here. Okay. I'm the, the, the head yeah, of so the... So you probably people. have the most information, except maybe, I don't know, guys, like, maybe the people whose property was damaged, maybe they saw something? So, well, it sounds like if they don't trust him, they won't tell him, so... I, myself, am the, the head of the Council of Elders. You could talk to the Guardies, who run the trading post. Or any number... There are many people who have reported these things. Why, why would they trust us, though? Because they seem to not really like us when we enter the city. This time. Because we have weapons. People... You have to understand that we are a very, very small, quiet town. I think people people just don't scared. hate you, they're just... This is a very quiet town, the sort of thing where a new arrival is, is news. People take notice. It's not something we deal with very often. We don't get visitors... Nothing like this ever happens. Well, the children seem very nice. Oh. They were the only ones to wave at us. That's true. So, basically what we got, right? I, I kind of zoned out halfway through that, so I apologize. I do that a lot. Um, so what we got is... People's ship being broken, and people seeing and hearing things on the outskirts of town. And I know these things now trivial but it's this is not the sort of place where these things happen yes occasionally some of the children you know make trouble as children do but this has begun to drag on now and people are wary please please don't don't judge them by their distrust of you it's I can get less. Really. It's what happens when people are scared. I would distrust the Correct. Too. You are rather big. Loud. Yes. And very gruff. Obnoxious. Oh. I fucking slap nobody in the fucking face. Did, uh... Ow. Duke, did you say you're holding the bag open? No. <laughs> Just waiting. <laughs> you, you 200 said... gold, please. No, I've got a great <laughs> idea for that bag, and I'm making sure he doesn't have it until we're done. Because I'm going to bust that fucking shit in there. Okay. Just... <laughs> One way bag of holding, baby. Pine cone. Poop. <laughs> oh, no. Some guy's mustard. Just to fucking. So, who'd you say we should talk to? Like, whose property got destroyed? A uh, trade post? Um, some old people? in a trade post, I think. No. He graduated, by the way, sir. I don't know if you're right. <laughs> you're very smart. There's, there's been some damage over at the Hardfire Farm. At the Hardfire Farm. 
uh, there was, be hard. I think, I think a herb lisket. You could probably find multiple people in the tavern alone that could tell you. It's oh, been really. And Autumn turns around and is like, "Hey, what do you guys know about what's been happening?" <laughs> I'm just supposed to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone's ship been broken? I want to talk to us about it. They sort of look at you all, and then We're here to help. and then they look at uh. They look towards Wallhest, the innkeeper, and Nada. He sort of nods at them and. I know. People seem a, a couple of them sort of raise their hand. Nada looks at you all and says, "Before you do investigate this, I was told I need to to give you this and put it in the bag before you begin." What is it? Your payment. It, it goes oh. in. The, goes in the. That's not our payment. Jesus. Payment first, okay. And I will open the bag. Okay, so he puts this coin pouch into the bag. Okay. You don't hear a sound of it hitting the bottom. Isn't it crazy? Oh, like one we'll never see again. Wow. Can you imagine? Nobody's pretty small. Can you imagine <laughs> one way bag of holding? I just fucking. He's dead. He's fucking dead. And when we get back, she's turning out a corpse when she goes to get her money. That's Literally, you all have knowledge of these bags. Is Moda the only person that can withdraw anything from it? Mm. It's essentially like a safe deposit box. You put stuff in, she takes it out. So like you have for to. Me, for her to take me out, she has to know that I'm in there to be able yeah. to, right? I'm yeah. yeah. If she turns it inside out, all of the contents come out, right? So. Un only if she did that would she know. Because she would have to think. Yeah. Nobody's corpse. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's a conundrum right there because, yeah. well, nobody's corpse. I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Okay. Nobody's corpse is in here. So, now to <laughs> turn to you all. Is there, <laughs> there anything else you'd like to ask of me or would you like to talk to some of these other folk. Uh, you seem very helpful, but I think we'd rather talk to the people directly affected. Um, that is fine by me. I have much to deal with. I'm Autumn very true. looks at the people who raised their hands, and she goes to whoever out of all of them looks the oldest. The oldest? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a gentleman sat in one of the uh, corner tables on his own. It's got a plate that of his, like it's been sat there for a while. There's some some half-eaten breads and cheeses and meats on it, and it's got a couple of mugs at this point sat on his table. She's gonna plop down across from him and take one of the mugs that hopefully has something in it. It's got She's the gonna... dregs of like ale in it. She'll it's... drink it. <laughs> and she's just gonna put the mug down. So what happened? Are you on the council of the elders? Can you tell me what happened? How bloody old do you think I am? At least oh, twenty. I don't know. I am at least twenty. I will take that. Okay. No, I am not on the fucking council of elders. Oh. I'm a woodworker. Well, did you have something happen to your shop, maybe? Because of all the weird stuff that's going on? Are you one of... Well... You did raise your hand. I'm a fucking woodworker, not a millionaire, love. I don't have my own fucking shop. I'm okay. Point, There's really no need for you to be so snarky, to be honest. But I'm just trying to help, man. The... <laughs> Goblin? So, can you just tell us about what Makes happened? Makes a good point. What did you see? There were... So, so oh. I was... Admittedly, I'd been in the inn, but I've only, I'd only had a few. And I was walking on my way home, and just along, along the forest, there was just these these two lights, just sort of hovering along the forest edge. Oh, we've seen those as well. Yeah, we saw those. I I walked toward one. 
I did not, because they looked fucking terrifying. That's good, because oh, really? I thought they were beautiful. They probably shut the life out of you. Well, now that I know that, I think I'll think they're terrifying, but... Okay, um, so... You saw some lights? Any, any, any of your prophecy been broken? Or anyone you know, maybe? None of my shit, but, uh... Devin, over there. The, the younger guy. Fairly muscular. Works the art fire farm. Would you mind, um, either, like, could you, could you show me, could you point to me outside where you saw the lights? Literally. Come out of the tavern. It's just straight across? No, because we're in a square. Well. Can he goes again with the snarky? Listen, no. <laughs> You'd be better to just show her, because, uh, she's not great at work. Okay, actually really so this woodworker, who nobody's asked like his no name, way. gets up, no, I didn't. picks up his mug, <laughs> carries it out with him, <laughs> and you follow him outside? Yeah. Okay, is anyone else going outside? No, sure. Yeah. No. Sure. Okay. Actually, no, because I'm, I'm not, it's a lot of effort getting out of the door. I'll, fucking, <laughs> I'll start moving towards, what's his name, Devin? Yes. I'm at this point. I found a spot in this, in like the middle of the tavern where everyone is in when shouting fit. range, and, and I don't have to crouch or anything. So I'm just like turning and joining in conversation. <laughs> so when nobody go, when they leave and uh, nobody goes over to Devon, I'll just turn and look wherever Devon is. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure I give you accurate descriptions. Okay. So you come out of the tavern. And immediately to the left of the door, there is one of the main northward paths that leads out of the town. And he takes you maybe 60 feet up the path and then points. So directly north, there's a clearing where this main sort of road travels through. And there's forest on either side of it. And he points to the right side of the road and says, there were like two of them along there where were you going where is, is yeah. your home this way yeah there's like as you've gone up the there's like three or four buildings that you've oh, passed okay. and he points to the one on the left and goes my house wow it's beautiful it's a bag of shit okay well i'm going to go back to my friends i'm Thank gonna go back to get me. another point Oh, okay, let's walk together then. And she's gonna try to, like, lock arms with them and just walk with them. Okay. Make a persuasion check. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, please roll nicely. Okay, okay. Wait, math? 21. He begrudgingly sort of... Yes! Like, he doesn't look happy about it, but he tolerates it. Oh yeah, so she's got left arm with him, right arm with her staff. Okay. Walk it along. <laughs> I'm sort of lead you back into the tavern. She's trying so hard to talk to him the whole time too, just like make small talk and all that. Okay, shit. he he isn't outwardly rude, but he's very. Uh... No, he stopped being rude. <laughs> he was. Uh, he's he. You gather that he has a very abrasive personality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Um, He's not. He like. He doesn't tell you to fuck off, but he's very like cagey with his responses. <laughs> like you're like. So what are you doing this evening? Work. <laughs> okay. Uh. She's loving all of it. She doesn't. It goes over her head. <laughs> Dutch, did you say you were going to see Devin? Yeah, as Exio and uh, Autumn leave, I'll just. Oh, I'll talk to the next guy that mentioned that he got that got mentioned. I'll, I'll walk over to Devin. Okay. Hello. Hello. You Devin? Yeah? So we got thought your shit was broken. Uh, you know anything about what happened? Uh, not, not my shit, but yeah. You alright? Yeah, you're just uh, very excitable, aren't you? 
I work at the Outfire Farm. Yes. And the, someone keeps trashing all the fences there. Oh, but not your fence. Well, no, I work there. I don't own it. Is anything getting out? No, it's or it's. In? It's not. Uh, we've not lost any livestock. It's just like the exterior fence. Yeah. Uh, why? Like, who it could be? Did your boss piss someone off or something? Hold on. Who do you call to fix your fence? Normally me. Oh, okay. <laughs> so oh. it's not an inside job. No. They don't pay okay. me any extra for that, if that's what you're asking. Well, uh, this is useless, man. Do you have a boss or something we can talk to? Yeah, I mean... Go to the farm. Where is that? Could you point us to it? <laughs> it's on the northwest. Uh, As you went out of town, it's on the northwest. Uh, one more question. You all. Do do do. For y'all, thank you. Okay, never mind. Fine. I have one more question. Okay. Want to see a magic trick? Make a persuasion check. This almond joy is about to come flying. <laughs> 15. I really hope Autumn gets back in time to see a magic trick. You walk in the door as this conversation's happening. So wait. Sure. Yeah, hold on. Wait. Hold. No, oh, no. fuck no. <laughs> Is he this is him actually walking around in character. Work? Is he always like this? Uh, when he isn't talking to himself. I, th I thought the lion man would be the scariest, but... I'm, I'm not scary. No, but he is. He's not gonna wear my skin, is he? Well, and she looks confused over at the other two. She's like, I don't oh, think so. Way. What's my deck of cards? Uh, all right. So that's, uh, hold on, that's fine. So nobody whips out a deck of cards. After rushing around the room, turfing all the shit out of his bag, looking for his deck of cards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> looking no, through all our first, pockets. First things looking that got through his put pockets. in the one-way bag of holding was the deck of cards. <laughs> all right. Boom. So I'll, you know, I'll, I'll shuffle the deck and whatnot, and I draw a. My breath. A pretty uh, picture. A, uh, nine of diamonds. Okay. Oh, this might be a little big. Want to see my size? It's gonna be big. <gasps> Let's go outside. Yeah. Okay. I wanna see. Well, I'll escort the man outside. He finishes his drink and puts it down on the table and sort of looks at everyone else in the room. You see this card? A few of the others move to the doorway to watch. Wait, if he leaves yeah. his cup on the table, I put it in the bag of holding. His empty <laughs> cup. Yeah. Okay. The one way bag of holding. Make a slight fan check. Or are you are you being brazen about this? Or I mean, I wouldn't want people to see. So make yeah. a slight hand check. Yeah. Because the innkeeper is still by the bar. Yeah, but I, you know, I position myself in a way that like. You know, and what did what did you get on your sleight of hand? Nine and nine. <laughs> <laughs> Could be okay. worse. Get a whole bar stool, you know. Okay. Nobody seems to react. Meanwhile, nobody does a magic trick. Yeah. So I'll, I'll see his card. Yeah. And I'll chuck it towards like the middle of the square, and oh. um, where the card lands, a. Ogre mage just appears, oh looking God. lifelike, oh walking around. Sounds real, looks real. Doesn't harm anything or break anything. It just walks around. Okay. Is there a is there a DC to know whether or not it 
it's an illusion or not. Mm. An illusion I... of one or more creature forms of the throne card and remains until, until dispelled. An illusory creature appears real of the appropriate size and behaves as if it were a real creature, except that it can do no harm. While you are within 120 feet of the illusory creature and can see it, you can use an action to move it magically anywhere. DC Any 50. Interactions will reveal that it's fake. Someone who uses an action to visually inspect the creature identifies it as illusory with a successful, yeah, investigation check. DC 15. <laughs> he screams and hides in the tavern, as do the majority. It's fake, man. It's just, a, it's just, a, it's, go look at him. The majority. I will run up and run through it <laughs> a couple <Hey>. times. <laughs> the majority of the individuals in this tavern are sort of like peeking out the doors, looking at Autumn running through it. It's a magic trick, like I said, it's not real, it looks real, it sounds real. I thought you were gonna do the whole is this your card thing. <laughs> is it... Maybe this isn't the right moment to do tricks like this. I don't oh, think so, I think. Oh. Yeah, but maybe not this kind of magic trick. I'll dispel it, and the, you can see, I pick up the card, and I fucking flick it and the ogre mage disappears and the card now doesn't no longer has like a nine of diamonds on it it's just blank and i chuck okay. it okay um, more ghost, so. the majority of the individuals <laughs> okay i mean there's a couple like of them that still look game. fucking terrified but like <laughs> the old woodwalker you spoke to is like wetting himself laughing Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, like, a few other people, like, give you, like, a very, like, terse, like, round of applause. Tips are appreciated. And I do a little bow. <laughs> a couple of people put, like, three, four copper down each on the tables. Yeah. Look, you're already making money as your own person. Yeah, school's not gonna fucking pay, I hear it. I'm so proud of you. That bill to pay. You get 11 copper. Bet. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to, um... Uh, uh, what's your boss's name farm. again? Man, Maybe we're man. gonna go to the farm, right? Yes. Right. So what is it we'll do? So there are... Uh... When we, like, are out of earshot of people... This just seem like a bit of a... Weird one. Like, all we got going on is there's wisps on the edge of the city, and then there's, oh, that's ship breaking. You know what I mean? Like, Maybe what's the what's the they're fuck? being surrounded by Nighttime necromancers. Vandalism. Yeah, but that and could easily be. They're just fucking with their heads before they eat them. Or so? the more likely conclusion we could draw is we're doing the school's bitch work because they didn't deem it serious enough to send the real people. <laughs> bitch work for 200 gold feels bad for a town this small. 200 gold? That's true. You buy off the town with that money. Hmm. So... We should. Hmm. We could be lords and ladies of this town. <laughs> no. Boring. I pick up a wait are we still in autumn's just so, picturing herself with a crown that fits perfectly with her antlers so nobody has the highest passive perception so i'm going to say that nobody paid the most attention there are three other people in the tavern who raised their hands mm -hmm. if you would like to ask them you can or you now know the location of the heartfire farm or the trading post was mentioned what would you like to do Let's split up and look for clues, gang. Always I'll goes well. Ask the people in the tavern. Of course right. you will. I'll, I'll go to the, the farm. Sounds good. And then, um. Do we want to go to the trading post? Not that I don't trust you on your own, but I'll accompany you to the trading post, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I, I just enjoy your company. I just. But... I. Aw. I was going to be real mean, but I'm just going to take it back now. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to be mean, I just want to. Just kind of be honest, and that might be perceived as mean. We're, we're already <laughs> going to meet. I'm going. All right. When are we going to meet up again? And, and where? Find out. Just well, back we at the tavern. Yeah, and we can go back here. And just okay. whenever, preferably before sundown, let's say. Just as because the sun dips below the horizon, we meet back it's at the laughing Still, I, I think we're done with her. 
Oh, of course. I just, you know, well, at the latest, as long as it's before sundown, you know. Yes, so it does make sense for you all to make back here because in the letter that Gartix read out for you all, it does state that you get free board. Yeah. Oh, true. Food. In okay, the... so trading post, me and nobody. Um, okay, autumn nobody. Who's leading the head, the search for the trading post? Well, question mark. I guess I could just ask my friend back at the tavern where it is. I'll be fine. We don't need him. Okay. Uh, Dutch roll a flat d twenty. Duke roll a flat d twenty. Baldy roll a flat d twenty. Eight. Dutch. Two. Two. Duke. Sixteen. Okay. We will go with Duke first. Where are you heading, Duke? I'm staying in the middle of the tavern, barking at whoever raised their hand about missing or broken shit. Okay. There were three more individuals who raised their hand. There is a, uh, a younger man, a sort of middle-aged man, and a small boy who looks maybe 13. All right, starting with middle-aged man. Okay. You! Yeah? What happened? It's just, I, I heard some noises around right back of the house and I went out and there was no one there. I'll point the younger man. You! What happened? The thoroughness is excellent. <laughs> so, don't know if this is related, but I swear I left my axe at work and it's not there. And I can't find it and it's not in my house and I'm convinced that someone's rubbed it. I'll point at the boy. <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah. What happened? Um, is there a boy in the tavern? Was there a boy in the tavern? Listen, it's he... fantasy, alright? He's not like young, young. He's like. You have a baby! He's like 13. He's 13. <laughs> there, there's no ale right? in front of him. <laughs> there's like a, a very small, like, mostly, kind of mostly finished sandwich and a small cup of juice. <laughs> Um, you're very tall. My, uh, my mom, she's a, a herbalist and, and someone destroyed her herb garden. It's on the edge of town and it looked like someone trampled all over it and, and now she says that, that we, we have to to be sensible and, and save money. Did you trample it? No, I swear. Insight check. Make an insight check. Dirty 20. You believe that he did not trample the garden. He's a fucking monkey. Okay, please. So we have a noise round back of our house. Stolen axe, trampled herbs. This what is the fucking point of it? I mean, uh, I mean, my 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 mum would know more about it. She she has the herbalist shop. If you want to. Before he's finished talking, I point at the old man. You, what did the noises sound like? Someone someone clattering something. He's like... very drunk. <laughs> like clattering wood, and I just pick up two chairs, and I'm like, boom, 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 like this, boom, 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 just smacking these chairs. Thank you, just, please, not my chairs. The chairs back down. Like wood, like metal, like what? <sighs> maybe, maybe wood. And this is scary. What? Uh, this is new. This is. It's a quiet town. 
and some more clattering wood in a town with a carpenter and a... Yes, and Not at this sort of time of night, no. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, uh, where is uh, the herbalist uh, lady? Uh, my my mum's at work, so she's at the herbalist shop, which is... Don't know my north and west, so uh, that way. A baby. Right. <laughs> she says I have to wait here until she's finished. Oh my god, dude, this is, <laughs> this is the stupidest shit. Like, <laughs> what? what? This is like, like you're playing The Witcher 3, and this is like the level of like intelligence of these NPCs. It's like, it's Durvin now, E-E-R. Like, this is the level of brain we're talking about, dude. Holy fuck. It's, it's, there are 150 people max here. It is like, it's barely a town. The amount of inbreeding. Oh. All right. Um, without further... I'm not, I mean, I don't, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to... Fumble my way out of the door and head in the direction that kid pointed towards the herbalist. Okay. Uh, let us segue while you travel to Bowdy. Uh, you are heading to the point. farm. Okay, so you head in the direction you were told, which is north to head to the farm you're thinking of, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you head out to the north, you come out of the tavern, you pass a couple of buildings on either side of you, and you take a path off to the left, which leads to the northwest of this clearing. Uh, you get to... Uh, sorry, multiple descriptions in different places. Uh, you get so you get to the northwesternmost farm. Uh, there are a number of farmhands out in the fields. Uh, there's a handful of cows and goats, and there appears to be a few stables and farm buildings. Uh, but no actual home. Do you see any, like, wrecked uh, anything? Like, anything that, that seems that it's destroyed or anything? Make a perception check. Oh, that's enough for what? You don't see anything. There's, okay. uh, there's one sort of middle-aged man uh, that appears to be directing everything. But that is about as much as you see. All right, I'll go to that middle-aged man then. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. I Hi, uh, take it you're worried uh, about the disturbances and such. Yes. Yes. Can you can you tell me more about what what's going on here at, the, at your farm? I heard there was some some disturbance. Some. Some, some destroyed fences and stuff or something? Yes, yeah, so um, my name my name's Gilbert. I live here with I've... with me my wife and me two kids and a couple of nights now in the past couple of weeks uh we've been at home we've heard distant noises, we've you know, I've not wanted to put my kids at risk so we've waited and We've come out in the morning and bits of our fence are damaged. And, and where where were those damages? All along the uh, this far side, at any points to the fence along the essentially the border between the farm and the woods. Okay, 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 and and. Did you see anything, or is it just the, the noise? And then you found the, the fences wrecked. No, I, 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 I didn't really want to want to come out in case it were something. And and you know, my my wife's in the house, my kids in the house, so we left it and we came out, and that inside side of the the bench was destroyed. Okay, and, and how many times did that happen? Maybe 
maybe three times now. Mm, okay, okay. Did, did you, uh, did, were there any animals that you lost that way? No, all the animals were in bounds at night, so. And, and they didn't seem to, to be alarmed or anything either? Or? I, I mean, the noises alarmed him in the way that it did us, but they didn't appear to have been disturbed in night, if that's what you mean. Hmm. That's odd. Do you have any any idea what it could have been yourself? The only thing I can think of is is something big living in woods, but you know, none of none of none of our stuff's been stolen, none of livestock's been eaten, so there were, were there other farms and stuff around there as well? Or is this like the other uh, farms? Like a big... No, there were other farms. You did pass a separate farm on your way into town, which is on the, the south side of town. But this is the only sort of farm up on this side of the town. Okay, and what what, what kind of other buildings or like... Uh, yeah, like what, what's the, the, the rest of the area like? Of this area you're in? Mm-hmm. So there's uh, there's two large livestock barns slash stables. There's a small building that appears to be a tool shed. And then a little further down the path, there is what looks to have been a barn at some point, but has been renovated into a small home. Okay, but it's all from this one owner yeah okay so do you know if, if any of your neighbors have had any similar similar occurrences i mean everyone seems to have to have something that's been been going on recently uh there's you know fletcher's daughter found some some bones in the forest and said some of their bones? arrows were missing what what kind of bones were did they find? She, she didn't specify. I she didn't tell me. She told her she told her mom, who told one at farmhands who mentioned it to me. It's sort of become the talk of the town. Okay. And then okay. one of the smiths said that that someone apparently got kidnapped south of the town by goblins. Goblins. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much I believe that, but uh, more of the arrows. Yeah. And he points at one of the farm hands and comes over because anyone else in your sort of neck at woods been complaining about this? And he goes, uh, there was, there was that, that thing with the plants on the on the elderberry farm he turns to you guys ah so we had uh we had a bit of a, a wheat shortage until we shipped some in from water deep because a bunch of plants just just died on the elderberry farm the one to the south that's, that's odd that, that's the farm that we passed yes okay so all these things that they only occur at the edge of town or also like in the center I don't think anyone said anything. I think if someone were going to cause trouble, there's a lot of people in the center of town. And maybe, so, but yeah, it seems to be the edges of town. Okay. Is the entire town, like, surrounded by forests, or...? So... I will pull... I will... Oh, I can't. I can't. Let me just, uh, crop... I can't directly copy this image, so I'll have to crop it. But I can give you a map of the town. Uh, so that you can have a general look. Wield them. Okay, wield them, mate. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll that, you twat. <laughs> I'll yes. 
the, the I'm at seven A right now. You are at seven A right now. Is seven B the verbalist or seven B the farm? Oh, the farm is seven B is farm. the other farm. Yeah. Okay. So he mentioned the the, the Fletcher. He mentioned uh, uh, the Fletcher's daughter. Uh, the smithy and the elderberry farm. Right, elderberry farm is seven B. Uh, can you can you tell me where, uh, where 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 I could find the Fletcher's daughter as well? Um, the Fletcher's. I don't know about the Fletcher's daughter herself. I know where Fletcher's is. Just sure, it's fine too. Uh, it's it's the last building as you head out the east side of town. But I don't know if they'll. They don't normally sell directly. They normally sell through trade and post. So. I mean, I, I don't want to buy. It. Just, just looking for more information about this, this whole, this whole thing. I think and, that's. And the blacksmith. The blacksmith's in town square. Okay, gotcha. I you, you it. pass the blacksmith. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. I think that's uh, that's all. Uh, all for now. If we uh, have more questions, I'll well, just come back. Okay, stay safe. Thank you, you as well. Uh, and I'll head back to the square for now. Okay. Nobody and Autumn. You are heading to the trade and post? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So which one is that? So the trade and post is directly opposite the tavern. Oh, that's easy. Oh, okay. They... If we have some time, maybe we should go check out the spot that um my friend showed me where he said he saw the lights. I could show you where he took me. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Well, I, don't, I mean, trading post first, of course, but... Yes. Okay, so, what I said before, I didn't mean to be, like, mean to you, okay? It's just that you, when you start talking about things, you kind of... You get carried away in conversations real easy and kind of diverge away from the point that the conversation was meant to bring you to. So I was just trying to like, you know, that's why I figured it'd be better for me to accompany you a little bit, you know? Oh. Well, okay. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing bad, but well, it's a little bad when you're trying to when having to kill certain monsters, not bad at all. When trying to have to investigate, and you forget the point of the question you initially asked, then, you know, not much investigating you're doing, you know what I mean? Wait, you think I could use this to kill a monster? Definitely trap them, yeah. Oh. I'll have to keep that in mind next time we're in a fight. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. For the sake of brevity, <laughs> in this very short warm walk across the square you reach this small trading post that says in an age sign above the door the trade and post ever uh, wait they have a newspaper oh or mail I guess that's what I meant Anyway, let's knock, see knock. what they know. Okay, so the door opens. <laughs> the door is Hello? open. Just Hello? The Terminator knock is. <laughs> Anybody here? Yeah, uh, come in. Hello? Come in. I'm kidding. You know, go in. You open the door, there's a small bell above the door that just goes ding a ling a ling a ling as you ah! open the door. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Uh, it's got a traditional sort of wooden door with a glass pane on the glass in what looks like a semi-flaking paint on the inside is the trade and post. You go in, there are a number of shelves displaying general town store items. There's burlap, there's some clothes, there's very basic tools. Um behind the counter so there's a large counter there is a a man that appears to be in his 
early 40s. Uh, and then there is a, a a very pale human woman who appears to be maybe in her late 30s. She stood behind what appears to be a cash box and a ledger. And behind the gentleman is a number of simple weapons and armor. Greetings. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome we to the trade and post. Here. What? Welcome to the trade and post. Thank you. We are here, um, because we got hired to investigate a bunch of weird shit happening around town, and we got told that some shit had happened to you guys as well, like stuff being broken and whatnot. So we had to ask some questions about it. You know, maybe I... you seen something or heard something. Nothing of ours was. Well, there was that one thing, did? Oh. Do you really think it's relevant? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We we are. Uh, I'm Gary. This is this is Aben, my lovely I'm and nobody. as always correct wife. I'm nobody. This is Autumn. Hi. Hello, nobody in Autumn. We we personally haven't experienced anything, but um, our last shipment from Waterdeep was was late, and the trader Waterdeep? said. Waterdeep. That's where we went to school. So you'll, you'll have followed the same path then. Yes. Uh, <gasps> oh, did I get taken with the whiskey thing? I think, I think we need to hear what they have to say, sorry. Robot. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. So, <laughs> our trader was delayed only a, a day or so, but he is normally very, very regular. He said that he came to the, the woods and as he was preparing to make camp, he saw a number of lights that made him very un uncomfortable and he he traveled back down the road to the edge of the forest before camping there so you were right nobody i do am yeah. um, <laughs> that, okay that's but... all that's really happened to us did he lose anything did he did he, did they take anything did he not that he told me and nothing was delivering from our nothing was was missing from our delivery all of your stuff was there and yes. nothing was damaged no we we get a delivery every 20 days or so oh like any other things just around town no weird stuff happening i everyone seems to have their own stories some of which seem to be escalating uh, the, I, I heard a rumor that the smith had seen goblins kidnap someone. What the fuck? What? Goblins? <sighs> you know, goblins, uh, turning to nobody, goblins sometimes serve bad people, like necromancers and stuff. I'm going to explain... To a goblinoid, what goblins usually do is a little fucked up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were related. Yes. Kind of. Sort of. We share the same gene pool. Interesting. Well, Sin you're much more handsome than any goblin I've seen. Give me in a few weeks, I'll get a hit of growth spurt. Since you're both here already, mm -hmm. I... You're the adventuring types, right? Yeah. Can I interest oh, yes. you in any We're of this? We're actually experts in it. We went to school for it. Mm. Graduated. Very impressive. May I interest you in some of our our finest weaponry and armor? And unfortunately, our school doesn't pay us, so we're a little stinked. But um, yeah, we're kind of paying them back. You got like a bargain bin or something? Uh, depends. Well, on... what do you have? He points on the wall behind him, and there is uh, a number of sets of leather armor. Uh, there is one set of chainmail. Uh, there are a number of daggers. There's a pair of hand axes, a sling, uh, two javelins, and a light crossbow. Is there anything pretty? about their leather armor. To you, no. 
Do they? Is studded studded leather is still light, right? Yeah. Do they have studded? Mm. <laughs> Not on display. Um, I'll. Sling. It usually does shoot pebbles at. <clears throat> no one in particular. Are you. Shot stuff at... <laughs> Are you going to use this during your investigation? Probably, oh, yeah. Make a perception check. Uh, perception. Not perception, uh, persuasion. Yeah, no, if a bad guy shows up and I happen to have a sling in hand, I can. You know? 14? I think. Yes? I can sell it to you for a, a silver. How much? A silver piece. Okay. You will you have... be wanting some ammunition with that, I assume. Mm hmm. I can. He pulls out a bag that plunks down on the table. I have 50, 50 bearings that would be perfect for it that I can sell you for one gold. Perfect. Autumn, do you want anything? I see you have some nice leather armor. Do you have studded leather by chance? I can have a look in the back for you. If you don't mind. He brings out... Roll for armor. <laughs> he brings out two sets of leather armor from the back. One of them is clearly far too big for you. And one of them... It would probably fit you. You'll have to strap the legs up slightly because the legs appear a bit wider than yours. Because you are fairly tall, but fairly slender for your height. But it would work. Um, How much would this be? Uh, I mean... He goes over to his wife and they sort of begin whispering to each other. We would normally sell this for about 45 gold. What the fuck? What? I mean, oh. Well, seeing as it's been quiet and you are here for everyone's benefit, we could come down to 40 gold. Oh, wow. Well, uh, that it's it's I lovely. Can help. But... I can help you. I can help you pay. I have a little mm. bit. Forty is still too much, but yeah, no, it's okay. I appreciate the offer, though. It's very kind of you to bring the price down. Yeah, no, that's okay. Really? Yep. Positive? Yes, I am. Hundred <laughs> <100%? laughs> <laughs> percent. Yes. Ten gold right now. Take it or leave it, Kara. <laughs> to me, you think? No. To the fucking make a to make the... a persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Oh, I definitely read the weight as the price. <laughs> That's why I was like, what? <laughs> what did you What did you expect it to be? 13. Like I said, I read the weight of the price. You expected so I 13, 13 gold. And then you said 45, I was like... <laughs> 11. 11 with disadvantage. Yes. Roll a natural 18 and a natural 8. 35 and I will throw in the sling. So you will just have to pay for your ammunition. So that would put you at 36 total. How much do you have? I have 20. Okay. 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 I can work with this. How about... 15 gold? And I show you a magic trick. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Normally, he charges at least 11 copper for his magic mm. trick. I'm sure your magic trick is wonderful, friend, but I do unfortunately have a business to run and... And a family to feed. Would you like to buy one of my magical cards? For this how one. much? Five gold. 
each. What does it do? Uh, depending on the card, it will create a big illusion. So, so for instance, I just used one earlier to make a large ogre mage appear to sound square and scare people. Very cool. Looks very real. It was very cool. I ran in between and threw I the will legs give and you two gold for one. What am I bargaining for again? I forgot. It's okay, really. We should just go find the others. Oh, and we can maybe check out that other spot that I told you about. You just lost two customers, sir. <laughs> and I'll turn around in like a twirl. And do you, do you not out. even want the sling? <laughs> he doesn't give it to you. You've not paid for it. But... Yeah. Yes, I don't want the fucking slap gold and thing. Okay. Take the sling. Take the so mark, <laughs> mark down one gold, one silver. Already have. <laughs> so that's the thing. The sling is cheap. The ammunition's where they sting you. I really tried, Autumn. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. You know, I probably could have just made you a sling out of some tree branches or something. That's fine. See, my issue with this investigation, right? We got half the people we talked to, you know, complaining about them seeing lights, which is very much like the wishes we saw. Mm -hmm. But in the other half, it's like, oh yeah, shit around town is being broken and whatnot. But I don't, I don't think the two wisps don't break things, you know? So yeah, are we dealing with two separate problems that just happen at the same time, or is something else going on? I don't get it. Well, maybe, okay, so if goblins did kidnap someone, maybe they're running around trampling things because someone has told them, hey, you know, we're going to get rid of this town anyway, so you do whatever you want in the meantime. <laughs> Keep them scared. Their scared flesh tastes better. I don't know. Bad people are weird. I love that Autumn is the, like, conspiracy flat earther. Of the D and D group. What does that do with the wisps? Are you guys well, on your way back to the tavern? The yeah, we're, we're walking. Walk at no, we're going to the blacksmith. Right? Are you going to the blacksmith? The... Oh, the yeah. blacksmith? Oh, I was. Yeah, isn't that the guy that was like that's like they mentioned? The I was walking to the right? spot that he no, showed me outside the tavern. Did they not mention the smith when we're talking to them? That was when I was talking. So no, 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 no. So the Abel mentioned the smith. Right. So you can go to the smith if you want. Is the okay. town bit that you're talking about is off to the north and slightly east? Uh, yeah, I just figured like that could be the last. Oh, wait, thing you we wanna did. you wanna go to where uh, you're just to fucking... show you and see yeah. if you see okay. anything? Okay, yeah. so anything, but... it is at this point after getting into town, meeting everyone. It is starting to get dark. Mm. The sun has not set yet, but you are getting towards the late afternoon. Okay. If they're going in that direction, would I run into them? Where are you going? I mean, I was going back to the square from the farm, so that would so be... Yeah, you'd, oh, you'd okay. bump into them. Heck yo. Hello. <laughs> and you just hear, and maybe they think the scared flesh tastes better. <laughs> what, what I'm confused. This, 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 this quest is very confusing. I don't get it. Duke or Tony. Where were you going? Herbalist. Hmm? You were going to the Herbalist. Aye. Okay, uh, so let's do with that first. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you go to the. Doing a bit of a break here. So... Yes, we're gonna do this one quickly, and we're gonna take a break. So, you head bang, to bang, the bang. you head to the west side of Wildham. Uh This is the point on the map where the forest actually converges in on the circle and backs onto uh, the herbalist shop itself. Uh, you knock on the door. Yep. There's no answer at first. But you hear from around the back of the building. I'm I'm round here. I will slowly trot around the side of the building. Gran, is that you? Yes. I Funny. clearly not. No, you are rather large for a thirteen year old. <laughs> Oh, of course, your son, yes. What I can I do for you? <laughs> Sorry. No, he's at the tavern. Please refrain from making jokes like that. 
he said you'd been having some trouble or what? something got trampled. So, as you look now around the back of the building, uh, this woman is currently picking mushrooms from a small compost area with, uh, with a piece of cloth over it that appears to be specifically for growing mushrooms. Right. Uh, there is a large patch in the middle of this, what appears to be herbalist garden, that has just been trampled to pieces, and you can see that she's started clearing it out, but it's it's rough. Hmm. Uh, w would you mind if I just take a look at what might have caused this? Sure. Um, was, Sorry, was my mentioned. name is Gartix. We're supposed to be taking care of this whole situation. I'm a Elaine. It's it's a pleasure. And I will uh, just sort of just like <laughs> just kind of push past her into her garden and go and, and investigate the trampled ground to see if I can okay sort of discern what caused it. Uh, while you're investigating it, Elaine sort of continues to tend her mushrooms, but chats to you as she does. She doesn't seem hmm. too perturbed. Uh, she sort of explains that she woke up to find it trampled she was rather disappointed because there are a number of items that she grows there that she needs for medicinal purposes um things that yeah you would you know um some of the, the ganja no some of the the uh plants she mentioned sort of vaguely ring a bell with you and it makes sense when she explains that she is slowly making healing potions, that sort of thing. Right. Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, can we make it survival? <laughs> I will allow. I am a generous god. I will allow a survival <laughs> check. 14. The reason I will allow a survival check is because you find there is a trail. Like the footprints? Of multiple footprints leading from the trampled herbs into the forest. How big are the footprints? Our first real lead. They are human sized. Humanoid sized. The footprints of a medium. They are humanoid. the footprints of a medium creature. And they. While it's Shoe hard to. T it has. Unshoed. Out of 14, it's hard to tell. It's been a little while. The weather's not been great. But they are definitely medium. And there's at least five. Maybe more. Interesting. Okay. How close are we to the edge of the forest? There's a clearing of maybe 15 feet from the back of this farm to the forest, to the first trees. There's not. There's your problem. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, at least five creatures. Mm. Could be, could be men, could be not, could be, uh, I don't know. Orcs? Maybe? Uh, goblins? Medium? I don't think so, right? Goblins are small. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Do you have any enemies in the village? I should hope not. I would like to think of myself as at the very least tolerable and somewhat useful. I tend to most of those that come down with some sort of ailment in the village. Well, that's not always for you to decide. <laughs> but if you don't think so, then maybe it's not uh, people from the village. Well, thank you for your time. We'll probably be back and uh, follow these and see where they go. Okay. And okay. I will just drop back out of the garden and back towards the tavern. Okay. Uh, should we take a break there? 
Yes. Four. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we are going to take a break here, and then we will carry on. Dude, this seems so weird. Like, I, I'm, it's like it seems so innocuous. The whole thing. Oh yeah. Half the town is like, oh, we see fucking lights. And I'm like, oh, that's wisps. And the other half is like, oh, my shit's been broken. And I'm like. What do the two have? There has to be something that links oh. them together. Clattering behind me house. Like. I think the oh minus God, one man. intelligence person is correct. Cable it's from clearly a mine and fucking hurt. with oh, goblins in their employ. It's like, <laughs> dude. Honestly, after the first guy, I was like, <laughs> I bet the carpenter has like fucked up people's fences to get more work. But if it's not him fixing it, then it can't be it. You didn't ask the carpenter who was fixing no. the fences. No, I, no, no. That's you what asked I'm the farm hand. You were talking to the guy at the farm, and I asked who's fixing oh, the fences. Oh, and he was like, well, me. Him. Yeah. Yeah, because he's a fucking woodworker. He makes, like, right. chairs and tables and shit. Well, right. I'm just saying. They're not, like... Okay, you know, if it was him I, fixing okay. the fences, I think it would I get your logic. Setup. I'm going for yeah. a cigarette. We're going on break stream. Yeah. Bye! Hi, stream. They all just got a lovely composition of you guys singing. Lovely. Okay. Excellent. So, straight back into this. Just bloody lovely. <laughs> uh, currently. Oh, are we all headed back? Currently, Gartix is on his way back from the herbalist. Uh, Exio, Autumn, and Nobody have bumped into each other in the town square. Ow. Oh. So, um, apparently there was some, some stories about goblins kidnapping and, and, what the fuck? Someone, and someone finding, like, bones, and it kind of reminded me of the bone that we found at the campfire, but yeah, I haven't had time to follow up on that yet. Yeah, we kind of just... Learned a bunch of nothing really. Just, uh, I bought a sling. That'd be cool. Cool. But, um. We didn't yeah, really it's more have of the same. Yeah. Weird it's lights. Wisps, basically. And it seemed like like all everything that happened was like at the edge of town, like near the forest. Yeah. But nothing yeah, really in, in the center, so, you know. I don't know. Should we, um. Well, is, it, is the sun dipping below the horizon? It's getting to that point. It's not that yet. We go yet, to but... the tavern first and maybe bring um, bring Garthys with us. Cause we just say we would meet at the tavern when the sun was last going down, right? Probably a good, good point, yeah. We should probably go there. Okay. Okay, so you will head to the tavern. Mm -hmm. Gartix, are you heading straight to the tavern from the herbalist? Yeah. You yep. would probably arrive a couple of minutes after you guys, so you don't have to wait very long. I got you. The, the door opens and I'm like, Ugh. underneath the fucking door frame. Hello, my friends. Uh, I've got good news. We have some footprints of a potential, uh, you know, bad doers. Hey, you actually yeah. learned something? It's crazy. Uh, Did they, they look trample... like maybe goblin footprints? No, bigger. Oh. Hmm. I feel like you really wanted to be goblins. Should I take offense? No, I, I remember someone said that they sound they saw goblins kidnapping someone. So I thought. Yeah, so did Exio. I'm sorry for the little target, guys. Jesus. Oh Jesus, I don't know. Are but... you a goblin? Um. You share the same gene pool, kind of? <laughs> Probably annoyed. Well, well, I don't think it was goblins. It looked uh, bigger, uh, something more like, uh, you know, person size, maybe. Hey, person size? <laughs> As though goblins aren't people? Oh, now you're gonna stick up for the goblins. Can't wait to blame the goblins, and I'll be shut. It's not I that I couldn't wait rooms. to blame them. I was just going by what people were telling me. That's all we can do while we investigate. Sorry. Uh, average human size footprint. I suppose. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, 
all we heard was more of the same, really. Lights at the edge of the town, ship being broken. I failed to see how the two connect, but you know. Maybe if you found a trail, then you should probably follow that, no? Someone, Maybe it was a did. goblin in people's shoes. Someone Sorry, did human shoes. Someone did mention a bone <laughs> as well. That they found a bone and it, it reminded me of Someone the bone. Someone found a bone? I thought what I found? I th I, it reminded me of that. I don't know if it's similar. Were they able to show it to you? Where no, did they find it? Not. That was the... The, the, the no, Fletcher's the daughter. Fletcher's the Fletcher's daughter, right? apparently... You heard from someone who heard from someone that the Fletcher's yeah. daughter off, found some sources. bones. And meanwhile, they find the bones, though? meanwhile, uh, oh. some of you have heard from someone who's heard from someone that the Smith knows something about goblins kidnapping people. So I, I, I couldn't find out who, where they found the, the bone. But apparently it was the Fletcher's daughter. So if we go to the Fletcher, we might be able to find some more information there. And the blacksmith apparently knows something about the goblin kidnappings. Yeah, and I kind of feel like... We have a solid lead. We have footprints that go to the forest. Lots of hearsay, had... but... At least the about... Maybe oh, tonight we can talk to the Fletcher's daughter and to the blacksmith, and then tomorrow morning... When it's light out again, we can try to follow that trail. I think uh, tonight, sure. And maybe we keep a watch in case anything weird happens tonight as well. Yeah, and since it's dark, probably stick together if that's okay with you all. Well, it needs that sounds like out of place. As you know, the wisps tried to take me by myself. Well, they haven't come into the village yet. No, I mean, while we're going out to talk to the other two people. Oh, they're only in the town. I, yeah, I, mean, we I don't go know. As a group. It just yes, seems yes, silly to group. take chances. I was thinking about on watch. Like maybe we go upstairs or something. Oh, I see. Since a lot I of see. these things are happening at night, you know. Oh, are walls, you wanting us or... to patrol the whole town, not just watch our, each other? Yeah, well, you know, just like, just in case. Maybe that's not a bad idea. We're we pretty could... formidable. Are we? Not... Yeah, let's do that. Together. As he says that, I whip out a sling and I fucking... Wait, hold on. You don't... You a sling. Okay, fast. Sure you do. That's a sling shot. Your mom's a sling. A sling is oh. like a... <laughs> Oh, fine. Uh, sling, oh, fucking, slings the. Oh, fucking go. Okay, fine. Oh, fucking. Make an attack roll with your dexterity. Yes. And, you fucking sling rocks at me now. Uh, I believe you have proficiency. I mean, you've been slapping him around. It's only fair. Uh, okay, but a uh, stone. Yeah, you have proficiency. Like a lethal so, I'm someone who's less than half your size. A 13. I think you'll be okay. Uh, a 13? Oh, my ace is pretty good. What's your AC? My you <laughs> go straight past his ear and pings into the ceiling somewhere. Oh. <laughs> See, gonna... Maybe not. Formidable is the wrong word for you, my friend. I'll take you sorry you sleep. Right. See you smell then, bitch. <laughs> for me. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that to you. Right. Let's find the fucking uh, Fletcher or whatever and uh, blacksmith and then patrol late and then sleep and then follow foot. Okay. okay. So, so you said you're going in pairs? Now we'll go all together. Okay. So where are you going first? Smith is closest, right? Yeah. Smith so the Smith the is uh, also on the square to the south. And the Fletcher's, you were told, is the furthest building to the east. Right. So you're looking at uh, five and four, respectively, on that map. Let's go to the blacksmith first one. Okay. Um, you get to the blacksmith's, and the lights are on, but the door is shut. Hello? Ow! There's no response at first. 
Eventually, oh, no. the door opens and an older, soot-covered, sort of chiseled-looking dwarf goes, The fuck do you want? Hi, how are Ow. you? It's fucking better to you lot darkened my door. What? Oh, um, yeah, well, sure. we're investigating um everything that's been going on in this town, the weird lights and... We we heard something about a kidnapping. Maybe you could tell us more about that. No is one the, has it, mentioned it, anyone being missing. Is this a a, a long thing or? I it's a slow. Is it is it a couple of questions? I think. Is it a couple of questions and then you will leave, or is is it? A... We just want to know what you know. So I mean, whatever you know. Please well, then I'm not fucking you know. inviting you in. Um. Thanks. Um, we were in the tavern, and someone mentioned that that they'd been told that someone was kidnapped by goblins down the road, and I'm convinced it's goblins causing all this trouble. And he looks so, directly at so nobody. Someone said that someone. Do I was catch him looking at me? Yeah, oh, yeah. Do we not actually oh, yeah. know who's missing? I don't understand. I'm this not a goblin, you shit fuck. Didn't say you were. Why are you looking at me funny? Prick. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm about to put this man in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I can most easily just pick up and dunk in there. It's a dwarf and a, and a goblinoid. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, dwarves are a little burlier, right? Look. It wasn't my story. Someone at the tavern. Well, who was it? I don't understand why. How come? And I'm t talking to the group and kind of to him. Like, how come no one can just tell us something firsthand? Everyone is saying that it's a story they heard from someone. I don't understand why we can't just get first-hand information. And the town's as small if some children were yeah, kidnapped, it's... everybody would know, right? Of I course, mean... yeah, it's it's so weird. I don't understand this. The small backward villages like this. I'm what assuming that, that you lot are the healthy. adventurers that have been hired in to... Now you're so perceptive. So shouldn't you be dealing with it and not... Aren't Part we, of investigating is asking questions. We can't just magically know where the thing is. Wait, can we? Does anyone have that spell? Is that a spell? No. Oh. I don't use magic. Oh, really? No, I don't. No. And you've that never seen him use unwise. magic. Huh, so anyway, this fuck doesn't know anything. Nobody in this town knows fuck anything you. besides my sister told my nephew Your sister that fucked your mom. Kids down your street saw a guy. So he no shuts the door shit. on you at this point. Uh, I no, I say f fuck talking to the Fletcher's daughter, and we just go follow the footprints. I mean, these people are useless. I agree. No, yeah. So the sun is now setting at this point. Well, any lights? Shoot anywhere on the edge of town um there's an older gentleman that is going around lighting lanterns in the town but make a is perception a check has anyone checked the well water in this town uh is a perception check mm -hmm. 11. you don't see any lights on the edge of the town Okay, so where did those tracks go? Do we want to go now or do we want to sleep first? Western we should probably sleep probably first. Better than daytime, you know, and again, yeah. then again, in the dark. I'm going to play, you know, devil's advocate. Which devil? Ah, uh, catch me. If he's, uh, you know, it's going to be easier to see lights and stuff when it's dark, you know? So maybe we should use the darkness to our advantage. That is well, that's why I'm saying we patrol or wait out that night. Oh, but you don't want to follow the trail? 
Well, oh, how much God. sleep do you hard guys to, need? Isn't it harder to follow the trail when it's dark, though? Following right. the trail will be harder. Seeing the lights will be easier. Right, so I say we stay in the town to look for the lights that are always on the edge of the forest, but not follow the trail. Okay. okay. Right. Um, how long do you want to do that for? Because you guys need sleep, right? Oh, right, yeah, we'll, we'll take, you know, like we did in the camp, we'll just take... Oh, Make so sleep. you're going to sleep the whole time while we do the work? No, I, I won't sleep the whole time. Who gets to sleep the whole time this time? I don't need to, nobody. so I'm more than happy. <laughs> and I don't mean nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no one. No. Uh, not one of us will sleep the whole time. Okay. Not one is so a discount cousin of nobody. So I get to do just two nobody. hours then this time? And is then there a I'll have two hours of free time. High building that looks like I, with my dexterous um, skills, could climb to have a bit, bit more of a. None of the buildings are massive. Fun fact: Sempo is just straight up suck at climbing. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I wonder have, why. Like, reduced. It's like even half, half and half again climbing speed or something. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of the homes and the tavern has two stories. I'll climb the tavern. Okay. Can I'm going to climb the tavern and just, I kind of feel like I can see better from that high, you know? Can centaurs walk downstairs? Yes. Like, you know how cows can't walk downstairs? Yes. Hold your cow. I'm my own cow. I'm my own You're busy climbing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he didn't say that. It didn't happen. He's busy climbing to why, the top why, of the tower. Why not? Why did I not say that? <laughs> because I said so. That's fucked up. <laughs> Censorship. <laughs> the DM okay. Do you have a climb speed, Dutch? No. I just then make know, an acrobatics or athletics check. <laughs> Observe. Uh, 16? 16? Oh. Make it up without issue. Easy. I'll so yell down to the rest. I just gotta sit here and keep an eye out. Oh. That seems advantageous. Don't fall asleep. No. Well. I'll try. If you do, I'll send Snake up to wake you up. Please don't. But Snake likes you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Snake yeah. likes everything Autumn likes, to just for clarity. Snake has no <laughs> free Autumn will and likes what know. it is told to like. What? Snake has no free will and likes what Autumn likes. Yeah. <laughs> it is essentially a familiar. I, uh... Autumn has no idea that that's how it works, though. <laughs> It's it's like a reduced down familiar. It is just a staff that like it's not a snake that turns into a staff. It's a staff yeah. that turns into a snake. Yeah. Autumn thinks it's the other way. <laughs> okay, so nobody is taking first watch. No. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like no, someone is. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I'll someone is. Move. Nobody. I'll be looking out. Um, <laughs> okay. Assuming that Gartic's told us where he found the trail i'll be looking in that direction a little more carefully okay. yeah the west side okay yeah. um so the rest of you are you going to the tavern uh, yeah hmm. i think so well at autumn is autumn is gonna go into the tavern and um sit at the bar okay and she's gonna try some wine for the first time okay she's had ale she's all right with it she wants to see what this wine is all about okay um bad place to try wine for the first time <laughs> what <laughs> about gartix really and axio what are you what? two doing gartix axio Is there a, <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna fit in the tavern room, right? Like, you don't know. I mean, You've I not seen them yet. 
Might as well try. Probably not in the bed. Edge. Okay, so you'll go into the tavern as well. Yeah, Ezio? Uh, yeah, I will go to the tavern too. Okay. Uh, so, Wolhest, the half elven, is uh, behind the bar still. Adventurers, where's, where's your little friend? He's on watch. Keep a lookout for oh. uh, light. Professional. You're a. Uh, you were a bit late, but I assumed you were coming back because uh, things have been provided for you. So I did put you some some meals aside. They're still warm, but not hot. Oh, thank you. I'll I'll have mine, and um, if you don't mind, I'd like to try wine. Uh, sure. Um, the house the house red of this fine establishment. You can get a pitcher of wine for two silver pieces. Pitcher? Two silver? A pitcher? Yeah. Uh, sh she has no idea. Sure, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so you pass across two silver pieces. Um, and uh, he passes you this... What at first looks elegant, but you realize the craftsmanship on it isn't great. It's a silver pitcher, and it's just Not an so unnamed, unlabeled, un mm. unnamed red wine in it. Wine in silver. That sounds like a recipe for a real bad taste. <laughs> um, pretty in I think it'd be okay. Do I? Do... He, pa he passes She's... you a glass. I was gonna say he passes you he two glasses. She's just gonna take a sip. He out passes of the you pitcher. two glasses. Okay, um, she's gonna pour wine in both of them. Okay. And she's not gonna hand the other one to anyone else because she's just gonna hold two glasses of wine. No, she's gonna <laughs> leave one on the table while she sips out of the other. But she, you know, there's no effort to give one to anyone else because she doesn't okay. realize that she's supposed to. Uh, roll a flat <laughs> d20 for me. Well, it's okay. You've drank worse. It's this is so interesting. It, this is made from from fruit. From from grapes, yeah. Oh, it doesn't taste like it. And she keeps drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hate it. Okay. It's yeah. It, it's like exactly what stuff. your first impression of wine IRL probably was. It's right, you know. Eh, it's, well, okay. actually, my first impression of wine IRL was, whoa. whoa. <laughs> but uh, so you will. There's some. Uh, you get past these plates that have been been kept around back. He brings them from the kitchen. There's a warmth to the bottom of the plate that makes you think they've been kept on a stove top to keep warm for you. Um, there's, so uh, some semi-warm fresh bread, uh, there's some slices of what appears to be beef cooked in gravy and some, some roasted vegetables. Straight from the gravy mines. Yeah, straight from the gravy mines. Fresh, they, they, that's why this town's here. They originally built here to prospect for gravy. They are all having, um... Some kind of like carbon monoxide related <laughs> hallucinations. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Dutchie, make on. a perception check for me while you're up there taking watch. You crackers and cheese eating bitch. 16. 16? Um. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, for those of you that are in the tavern, Hi. do you know how front long your friend's gonna be? Do I need to stay up to pass him a room key or? Um, yes, I can I take think... his room key and give it to him when he's because we, we're gonna do what two hour watches each. Right. Yes. So. Okay. Well, I'll be. You know. 
I'll be locking the tavern up in a couple hours, but there's there's a back door that he can use to get in to his rooms that leads up the staircase. Okay, uh, sure. I'll leave through there and give him his room key. When so he hands you I'll two take room second watch, keys. If that's okay with everyone. Yeah, that's, that's he, he hands you two room keys. He hands one to Exio, and then he pulls out a off a separate bundle of keys, a room for, key for Gatix, and he goes. I figured that a bed might not be the best thing for you, so I've I've taken all the soft stuff and sort of made like a an on. I'm really trying not to be. A, to, to offend you, do you do you want a bed, or like, cause uh, horses sleep on the floor. Wait, I, I just take the key out of it. That, whatever works works. Where where am I going? I heard that you can't walk upstairs, so you've got <laughs> <laughs> you've got Can a horses room. like sleep standing up. Uh, horses uh oh, do sleep standing up. But for long deep sleeps, they have to lay down. They so down, right? for a centaur, I have always ruled it that for a short rest, you can sleep standing up essentially, but for a long rest, you need to lay down. So he's given you a downstairs room, and he's you can see that they've cleared the bed out of the way and laid down as many like blankets and pillows on the floor to make it as comfortable as possible. And... That's so sweet. Yeah, that's what the lit, heck? Bro. Let me sleep there, bro. Holy fuck. Fucking pillow fort. Pillow fort. Basically, it looks like they've pulled duvets and pillows from different rooms to accommodate oh, you. Oh, look at that horsey. Horses are precious. So they've, they've done their best to accommodate. Uh, the other two of you, if you, well, when you go to your rooms, you find that it's sparsely furnished, but the beds are comfy enough. Everything's clean. You're on the upper floor. There is a back door that leads upstairs up to this floor so that you can access the rooms when the tavern is shut. Um, you, Autumn, are going to go give nobody his key. And I assume explain all of this. Hmm? Is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was distracted okay. by centaur pictures. Who's taking second watch? <laughs> Just me. Okay. So, nobody... I'd just like to add, I made no effort to let anyone know which or where my room was. Okay. Intentionally. That is all. Okay. Uh... Fucked up. So... <laughs> uh... We sleep in. Nobody, you come in and you come through the back room and oh. uh, the half hour one man is still there and you can see that he's beginning to sort of close up down. Most of the regulars have filtered out and he goes, before you go up, there's a, uh, hang on, and he goes into the back and he brings out a plate of food for you that's at this point not super warm, but lukewarm at best. <laughs> a, a bit above lukewarm, the gravy hasn't congealed yet. Oh, I night up there. Can I eat on the roof? Uh, sure, as long as you bring the plate and cutlery back. Yeah, of course. Okay. Take my plate and I just uh, I'll pocket the room key, but I'll climb back up safely. Okay. Um, autumn, roll a perception check for me. Um, I also want to look toward the direction of that other spot that the guy from the tavern showed me okay uh, so to i don't know off. how different of a direction that is um so if you wanted to watch the trail you'd be watching mostly towards the west if you want to mm. look towards the spot that you were shown it is the northeast so you'll have to decide which of the two you want to focus on for your watch okay she's probably gonna look at the one that she was or, shown then or you can just do a general watch yeah yeah let's do that okay like some balance roll a perception check for me Ooh, dirty 20. okay um what am i seeing 
her big creepy black eyes with the golden irises towards the <laughs> end of the towards the end of your very long watch not very long watch actually because you're only doing two hours so about an hour and 45 minutes in up towards the farm on the northwest you swear that you see very distantly some pinpricks of light that just disappear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Garthic's room was downstairs, right? Mm. You know it was downstairs, you don't know which room downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You also see about um, mm. are you staying up there for the rest of your watch or are you going down now? I'll stay for the rest of my watch. Okay. About ten minutes after this you see a small boy running through the streets of the town towards the tavern. I'm gonna climb down as fast as I can. You get there as he's uh, like banging on the door. What happened? I, uh, I, uh, the, the farm, the half yeah. farm, uh, there are weird noises and, and, and shapes and my, my dad sent me to come and get you. I saw the lights. Um, here, let's find my friends. One of my friends is staying downstairs. Just knock on every door until you find him. He's oh. a centaur. You won't be able to miss him. Okay. I'll go get my friends that are upstairs. Okay. Uh, this front door is still locked. We have to go through the back door. I saw I'm sorry. We have to okay. <laughs> I like it from the roof, but I'm like... <laughs> do I like hear any of this commotion? I... Oh, I... Do Would I you have he went up to Yeah, he was up there. He basically yeah. came up eight and went to sleep. Up on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, so I'll you would have woken him yeah. before he goes. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah, are yeah, awake for this. You hear this conversation. Oh. Um. You open up the back door and the little boy starts frantically banging on every door in the in the in the lower floor. Wait. Okay. So for my for my telepathy, it doesn't specify that I need to see. It just says any creature within 30 feet of you. It doesn't specify that I need to see them. So would anyone... No, it is a creature you can see. Well, that's not what it says on my sheet. Well, if you click on it, it will say you can telepathically speak to any creature you can see within 30 feet of you. Why does it not say that on the shortlist? Because it's shortened! Yeah, I feel like that's pretty key information that they didn't need to short out. Just say yes. I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but I'm also saying, like, okay. okay, fine, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay. What are you doing while they run in? Nothing. Them two are running in. I'll just, like, try and see, like, to look towards the farm and see if I see anything. Okay, make a perception check. 21. You can see what appears to be... You can see what appears to be a small light outside of the front door of one of the like buildings. actual within the town limits? No, no right on... Mm, the farm is, it's the uh, northwestmost building, so it is right on yeah. the edge against the woods, but there is a light in front of one of the buildings. But it's actually like at the building, it's not like yes. edging. You can't make out what this light is, but there is a light. Uh... Okay. Gatix, you wake up because someone banging on your door. Yeah. Uh, the innkeeper S comes out to sort of groggily find out what's going on. Because his door has also been banged on. <laughs> Look at all the inconvenience you caused by not telling us what room you were in. Does anyone else go, anyone go upstairs and get Axio? <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Does anyone go upstairs and get Exia? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, Exia, no. you're awoken by Autumn braying on your door. What's that? Wait, sorry. Something's happening up at the farm. There's, like, lights and weird noises. The little boy's dad sent him here. Oh, okay. Then, then let's go. Yeah. Oh, Woo! No long there. rest. <laughs> I come. I just come fucking flying out. Cave drawn. <laughs> There's a little boy just stood in front of your door. Oh no. What is happening? Um, uh, my, my dad sent me to come get you. Who is your father? And what does he do? <laughs> his, his name's dad and he's a farmer. Dad. <laughs> my heart. But... Dad Peters, you know. My, the my my name's Henry Hartfire. And you recognize this as the farm you visited earlier. I didn't visit Hartfire Farm. Yes, you did. Oh, yes. No, I visited not farm. Oh. No, I didn't. No, you are right. I'm stupid. Oh, so this is the other farm? But no, I, I this is of, this is the north didn't farm. Go to, I did, yeah, I oh, personally oh. didn't recognize Yeah, this is the farm that Axio went to. Where are my His friends? Uh, and then the, the, the we'll lady tumbling down the stairs. The lady went upstairs. Yeah, I can't go upstairs. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will just uh, run around to the front front of the tavern, I guess, and wait. Okay. Cartex! Cartex! Yes. There's a light at the door of the farmhouse. We gotta go quick. Is West coming? I, uh, well, I just woke up. Why didn't you tell us what room you were in? You what? said you were going to stand alone. Is everybody here? Yes. Yes, everyone's Let's here go. at this point. Okay. And I will take off. <laughs> What's your move speed? Mine is like 40, <laughs> no. like 40 feet, which is kind of lame when you think about it. Well, only, like for, only 40. Yes. I'm pretty sure you're 35. faster. How yeah. fast are horse. Horse. So, so Gartix is outpacing all of you apart from Exio who semi manages to he's about Exio's about halfway between yeah. you two and Gatix. That's that's the math, yeah. Wait, do we both have thirty? Um... Yeah. Most yes. creatures have thirty. Somehow even though he's a wee man. Yeah. <laughs> nobody in autumn together forever. Yes. <laughs> She's forever alone. She's constantly Buddy. with nobody. And the third the at the front of the pack. <laughs> okay. Uh so you make it to the farm first, Exio. Uh oh, you absolutely uh, high. Gartix. Gartix. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Shush. Uh the light outside the door is a man that you, uh, Exio, would recognize as Gilbert with a lantern. But you immediately hear the noises of wood being torn and the sound of a ceramic or wooden material clanking. Uh, make a perception check for me, both of you. Both me and uh, Bowdy? Yeah. And then uh, we'll give it a, a little bit. Oh, thank God. 16? <laughs> 8. 8. You don't see shit. Mm. Passive of 14. Bowdy, do you have dark vision? Uh, I do. Okay. You can see on the other end of the farm, there are a number of skeletons that are partially obscured by the crops in the farm that currently seem to be attempting to pull down the wall. It is an angry necromancer. There's there's skeletons over there. He was right. I <laughs> Okay, so Nobody Autumn happens. and the little boy Henry arrive at this point. Henry is uh, I was right. <laughs> Henry is immediately beckoned inside by the gentleman and, and woman Again. stood on the doorstep. Fuck the door. Uh the gentleman turns to you and goes, Please, please help us, adventurous. Lock the door. 
Okay. And he just shuts and locks the door. Um, you're moving straight for them. Uh, uh, yeah, Duke. how far away are they? Uh, about, about 40 feet. So I can get familiar with them. Sure. I'm following my friends. And start, just start swinging. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and say that everyone gets to within thirty feet of them before we start initiative. Pause. Okay. Uh, so I would like initiative rolls for everyone. For the sake of this, I am going to do grouped initiative for the enemies. Yep. Better be shit, or I'll be upset. They are indeed shit. Can I say that on Mine the way, I turned snake into snake? Uh, sure, I'll allow it. Okay, so he has his own initiative. All good. Cool, 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 cool. All right. 20 plus initiative. Oh no. 15 to 20. 18. 16 for Snake. Okay, so. Uh, X, yo. Snake. 10 to 15. Five to ten. Um. No. <laughs> Zero to five. Three. That's me. Okay. Four. Wait, 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 wait. So you got fours? Yeah. Who has the higher dexterity? Fourteen dex. I have fifteen dex. Okay. Right. So nobody. Wait, you all rolled fours. Got it. So what did you get? Is you said a three? Three. What's your dexterity? Ten. Okay, let me just check. <laughs> You're the <laughs> fucking lucky I load threes for the enemies. That's, okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Uh, so the skeletons are going before his mirror. Okay. And they have better decks? Yes. Or something else. Okay, so. First up. No, I already forgot. Exio. Uh, you have dark vision. I do. You are 30 feet away. How many so, so you can see at the moment six skeletons. Okay. But they are at this point waist deep in props as they are making their way through the fence. Okay. Um I am going to Are, are they like in in a line or how how are they? There it is. Are they in a line? <laughs> they are roughly close. They're roughly. They're not directly stood in a line at attention. They are roughly clustered around this opening in the fence. What are you trying to do? Well, I kind of so okay. So I basically want to get closer to them. Okay. And spawn an echo. Okay. Um, but not right next to me. Like basically, I want to split myself and the echo, okay. so that we're basically forming like a bit of a line, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so there are two that are currently through the gate, through the hole in the fence. I should clarify. Yeah. Uh, one that's like halfway through, like half in the fence, and then three behind him, on the other side. So you could have your echo on the other side of the fence. Which would mean you're essentially... You're not flanking because you can't flank with an echo, but flanking on the other side of the fence. Or you can stand on one side of the two that are already through and have your echo on the other side of the two. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, uh, so that's your bonus action, I believe, to spawn an echo? It is. Cool. And then... For my action, I'm going to pull out my uh, my commas and I'm going to swing at one of them. Okay, so you will watch as Exio, who told you he doesn't use magic, points at an unoccupied space and a translucent grey image of himself appears. 
It's not really magic. Are you I'm not casting a spell. It, it's not magic. natural. Casting it's not it's natural. Magic. It's an ability, but it's it's, not it's magic. It's, it's magic just not ability. a spell. Okay. 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 Uh. Oh, okay. Well, that's an natural one. Okay. Nice. You uh, yeah, swing okay. towards one of the skeletons, and the point of your camera embeds into it, and you're like, "Yeah!" And you pull it out, and you realize that you've just gone between the ribs. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. You don't get an extra attack, do you? Okay. No, you're not high enough level for extra attack. Oops. Our initiative. You made 18, us this way. Four, four, three, huh? Yeah. Actually, uh, I will use. Unleash Incarnation. Uh, uh, and my Echo Cast for that. You're going to use in Unleash Incarnation and make an additional yes. melee attack? Yeah. Cool. Uh, my Echo. Yeah, so you make uh, another attack. Uh, it's the same roll, it just comes from your Echo instead of you. That's not yeah, good. That's a two, so that's, uh, it's, I mean, it's not a one. Probably. No, it's Jesus a total Christ. of eight. That does not hit, I'm afraid. That's a uh, yikes. Good start. I mean, it started with a natural 20, but this eye is out right now. True. Okay. Next up is Snake. Snake! So, um, snake. in my head, I think to the snake, and I say, break their bones. And he's gonna try to constrict just whatever skeleton's closest to him. Okay. Uh... Blue. A uh, thirteen to hit. Which uh, step block are you using? Why doesn't that staff Giant specify? constrictor snake. Yeah. You want me to put the link in? Uh... No, I've got it. It just the staff doesn't specify, which is annoying. It says giant constrictor snake, but yeah, yeah it doesn't. It, say... it doesn't specify it. Like it doesn't link. Normally, items that summon a creature link to the stat block on D and D Beyond. Yeah. And it doesn't, and that annoys me. Okay, that's fine. What did you get? Uh, you're gonna constrict. It's a thirteen to hit. A thirteen. Uh, it wasn't a strength check. It has a. It has a. No, it's it's to hit. It's melee weapon attack. Yeah, it's yeah. a thirteen. So yeah. that hits. So roll your oh, okay. damage. Oh, and two d eight plus four. Not two d eight plus four. And one of the skeletons that has made its way through the fence is currently grappled. Mm, it's only eight damage. That's fine. That's that's wonderful idea. That's important. But now he's getting cuddled. He is Wait, indeed... does the snake get two attacks? No. No, I didn't think so. It, okay, sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. No. But you you did uh, you did a fair amount of damage as the snake wraps around this skeleton and just begins to constrict and you can hear the cracking and snapping of bones. Good, good boy. Nobody. It is your turn. <laughs> Any enemies have my friends in their proximity? Uh, yes. So there's basically they've torn a gap in the fence. There are two that are on this side of the fence. One that's like in the fence, essentially coming through the gap, and three behind it. Uh huh. The uh. Uh, the okay. two that are in the fence, uh, on one side there's Exio, on the other side there is Exio's Echo, and the one next to Exio's Echo is currently grappled by a snake. I'll go up to whichever one is in melee with uh, Exio. Uh huh. And I'll whip out my two short swords. Okay. And uh, go for an attack. Okay. Uh, do you have dark vision? Do I have dark vision? Uh, no. Then these will be at disadvantage. Fucked up. God, what do you want me to do? Isn't he flanking with me though? He's not flanking with you. I tried. Because it's, <laughs> it's, so, like Connect 4, Exio, Skeleton, Skeleton with a Python, Exio's Echo. Oh, it's all in a row. Yeah. Because they'd both just a, come through the fence. Okay, counterpoint. Counter, no, but counterpoint. 
if I was aware that I couldn't see, mm -hmm. I, I, I have a, a hooded lantern that would probably like lit up at some point. Then okay, spun from my belt. Uh, do, do, do. I will say. I will say that you can light. I'll be nice. I'll say that you can light it as your object interact as you move. So as you move over to them, you light the lantern. Yeah, because like, <clears throat> if I was aware that I couldn't see shit like the entire way, I would have probably like as soon as we left the tavern, it would have been like, you know. Okay. Like, so you move stuff. over. Your passive perception is sixteen. Yes. Okay. Ooh, somebody's being sneaky. As you approach and get into melee with the skeletons, you, oh. while lighting the lantern, uh, looking at it on your belt as you're moving, and you look down and in the depth of the crops around you, you oh. just see a number of, of just what appear to be hands, crawling towards you. Ooh. On your feet, guys. Uh, and I'll proceed to ignore the hands and okay. the skeleton that I want to attack. Okay. Uh, make your attack rolls. Well, now I, it's a normal roll, right? Yeah. Let me to re-roll the one that I already did, or can I keep it? What was it? Just keep it. Natural 19. Okay, yeah, that hits. Whatever. Uh, okay, cool. So that is... Uh, with your sneak attack, remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then some. Uh, alright. So the skeleton I'm attacking is taking nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And then, do the hands that are clawing at me from the ground count as an enemy I can see? Yes. I'll uh, use my Whales from the Grave ability. Immediately after you deal your sneak attack damage to a creature in your turn, you can target a second creature that you can see within 30 feet of the first creature. And it takes 1d6 necrotic damage. Now, I don't know if necrotic is going to matter, but I'm going to try. And let's okay. See. Four. Uh, so, there are four of these hands just mm -hmm. essentially detached to the wrist with a shard of bone crawling towards you. Yep. And you look at one of them as you're stabbing the skeleton. And it just disintegrates. Ooh. Good to know. Damage works. Uh, uh, you can stab with your bonus action if you want, because you're dual wielding, right? Two weapon fighting, baby! Yeah, fuck it. Swing at the uh, the same skeleton again. Okay. Natural 20! Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. What's your no, minimum damage here? No, no, no. That sucks, because my sneak attack doesn't get doubled. No, 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 no. What's your damage die here? D6. Plus? Two. He dies. You don't even need to roll it. Hog. Yeah. So you jam this first short sword, right? Yes. You jam this third short sword into the the shredded armor of this skeleton, and you catch what you think is spine, maybe, and go ah fuck this, and just jam the other one into the side of its skull, and it just collapses into a pile of bones. Adam. Gartix, it is your turn. Okay. Now his his other is gonna go down. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna charge I'm I'm charging forward thirty feet. Mm-hmm. When I'm within ten feet, mm -hmm. I'm gonna rage. Uh-huh. While still charging. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I rage. Yep. My eyes light up. Mm -hmm. The fucking tattoos all over me fucking ripple and glow, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. roll on my wild magic table, oh, baby. No. Let's go. Oh no. Ooh. Fireball at your feet. Fucking magic infuses one weapon of my choice that I'm holding. Obviously, the fucking glaive. The weapon's damage type is changed to force. Okay. And it gains the light and throne properties. This is a heavy glaive, by the Your way. Your heavy glaive has now become very light and can also be thrown. <laughs> does it, normal, does it with a normal range of 20 feet? And a if disadvantage. If it my hand, it reappears in my hand at the end of the current turn. Okay. Sick. 
What um, barbarian is okay. this? Wild magic. Wild magic. It's barbarian. wild magic barbarian. Yeah. That's like so insane. you yeah. can now. How many attacks do you get? You get just one attack, right? Oh, cool. Just one. Well, so, we'll we'll see about that in a second. Okay. But I think that's really cool at level ten because then you get it every time. Yeah, you're gonna see if you, you get a chat. Bonus action or something. You can. Okay, so you can in theory. Uh, use your. You can in theory throw the fucking glaive. I'm not gonna throw my glaive. I'm 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 getting in and I'm swinging. Cause, Cause yeah, cause I was gonna say I if you throw it, you won't get a chance at hoops. Added in Tasha's cauldron is a fucking W. Literally. Uh, um, so, so make your attack roll. It's gonna be hard for you to miss. Uh, yeah, it's a seventeen. Yeah, that hits. Um, which. Hold, hold on, I don't even know what regular rage does, first of all. Uh, plus two at your level, I believe. Plus two melee damage? Cool. Maybe plus three, yeah. I will double check for you. It's plus two, it's plus two. Yeah. So, your minimum damage here... It, it, you can roll if you want, but this one was grappled by a skeleton and is now dead. Uh, grappled by yeah. a snake, sorry. Is there anyone else in my melee? Uh... Does it specify immediately after for the hooves? Yeah. I will say that you could have moved into the position of the skeleton nobody just killed, and therefore there's one trapped halfway through the fence next to you. Well, he's getting the hooves, man. Okay. Uh, so, I, I have to roll an attack. Yeah. An unarmed attack. Which is a natural 20. <laughs> okay. Shit! Uh, if you roll more than a 1 on this... No, because you've got rage damage. It automatically dies. 1d6 plus 7 melee damage, yeah. Yeah, but it's a natural 20, so it's 6 plus yeah. 7 plus 1d6. So it dies. Yeah. Alright, beautiful. So there are now just three skeletons on the other side of the wall, and now, with nobody's comment, you all see there are three of these hands crawling along the floor towards you, hidden within the crops. When the skeleton it's grappling dies, Snake just sits up and looks really cool and threatening at everything. Okay. Because he's a good boy. Okay. <laughs> Caught um, on the ground like... Yeah. <laughs> it is now the turn of the three skeletons on the other side of the fence. That means Angry I'm... centaur boy has put himself blocking the way in. So they're all gonna wail on you. Well, I'm raging, so come at me. Well, they can't Actually, get to anyone wait. else. Are they? Are they? Wait, don't. Towards me? <laughs> they're. Yeah. First one to move within ten feet gets hit. I have hold on mastery. Okay. Yeah. Hey. They were already within ten feet of you. Tell me. Oh well, I think if they move, I still use my reaction, right? Uh, do 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 do. Hold on, master. I have it open. Um, bop, bop. Other creatures provoke an opportunity to attack when they enter the reach you have with that weapon, which is 10 feet. So they were already within your reach, so they won't provoke an opportunity to attack, unfortunately. I'm, look, I've been so fucking generous in everything else, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Uh, I literally, like, put you in a position to get an extra attack in. Fuck you. Uh, that is... Doo -doo -doo. Uh, 15 to hit. A 16 to hit, and a 9 to hit. First two hit. The first two hit, okay. Uh, you take... Um, 10 points of piercing damage, half to 5, because you're raging. Sir, is, uh, am I within 5 feet of any of those? You are uh, not. Uh, no, I'm in the way. Yeah. <laughs> it is now the turn of... Of the claws. Uh, I'm gonna say that one goes for each of you, and I'm not attacking the snake because I'm not a bitch. How many were there in total? Uh, there were four, but you killed one of the claws. So. so now there's three of each three skellies and three claws. Autumn, that is a seven to hit. Nope. Fucking hope not. <laughs> Browdy, that is a 15 to hit. Do I have any reactions? I don't think I do. Browdy, you take... Four points of slashing damage. 
as this hand sort of begins to climb up your leg and then rakes its nails down your ankle. Dutch. There's an 18 to hit. Only if you call me by my real name. Nobody. No that is an 18 to hit. Yes. That is four points of bludgeon damage. This time the claw wraps around your leg and just begins squeezing and you... It's uncomfortable. There's going to be bruises for sure. Is, is that within five feet of me? Yes. All right, then uh, I will use Sentinel attack. My, uh, my reaction. Okay. Attack Make an attack roll. Uh, Fucking Polar and Master and a Sentinel. Y'all are bitches. Yep. Dude, combining them both is so fucked It up. is. I fully, like, if one of you turned up to a, like... I'd probably allow it for a one-shot, but if an actual player turned up to a campaign with both, I'd be like, no. This isn't the table for you. Um, eleven. Eleven. Does not hit, unfortunately. You swing down, but you just uh, a couple of inches wide out of fear of hitting nobody's ankle and decap mm -hmm. removing his foot. Defooting him. Defooting him, yes, indeed. Ah, indeed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Autumn, it is now your turn. Dookie. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Wait for it. Ooh, I'm trying to see if I have something that hits multiple things. And I don't think I do. Except for fairy fire, but I don't want to do that. I don't think. I, think that I want to hit something. Oh, okay. Um. So, am yeah. I... Well, I guess I don't want to be. Never mind. Um, I was going to ask if I was within melee, but I don't want to be, so... <laughs> I'm going to... You are within melee dice. within one, because one came over to attack you, but did a shit job of it. I'm going to use face step. Okay. To just 30 feet away from it. Okay, so... Anyone that is paying attention... Autumn literally turns into a thousand red and orange leaves that just hit the ground and reappears 30 feet away. So cool. Well, don't pay attention or you'll have to make a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> they're, paying, they're not... Okay. <laughs> it's just two creatures you see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's two creatures you see. It's not to anyone who Creatures looks at you. you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, there's kind of no point in charming anyone, though, because I'm about to hit them. But <laughs> we're hoping... I mean, <laughs> you, you've moved 30 feet away, so there's nothing yeah. within 10 feet of you. Right, So when I have Eldritch Blast. Yeah, but there's, there's nothing you can charm. Nothing's within range. Oh, it's within 10 feet. Yeah, it's within oh, 10 yeah, feet of wherever that. you land. <laughs> Oh, if we're ever oh, cute! Because I'm just so mystical and adorable landing there. Um, okay. <laughs> what was that? A party burb. Twenty-two to hit the one that tried to hit me. That I just yeah, that hits. Them. And do 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 do. Ew. I... Only four points of forced damage. That claw is splattered into. A thousand little oh. pieces and oh, sprayed across the crops like the most disgusting fertilizer. Gross. Um, and it was just that one claw by itself, right? Yep. There are now another two claws. One is currently trying to attack Exio, and one is currently trying to attack nobody. Okay. Um, Ow. I don't have. Well, that was my bonus action to use face step. So I'm just gonna... I'm within 240 feet of everything that's going down, right? Yeah. I'll just stay here then. Okay. And I'll, um, I'll tell my snake to, you know, attack the next one down the line. To bite the next one down the line. Okay. On his turn. Exio, it is your turn. There is a small claw at your foot. Okay. Well, I'll swing at it, or at least try to. Make an attack roll. Hit him! 
Uh, that's a lot better. That's dirty twenty. That hits. Yeah, I can do that. Leave it in her. I cleave. Okay, because yeah, I do twenty six four. Yeah, you cleave it in her. This right. this oh, hand good. is just. This hand uh, is now two hands. Or two so half there's, hands. There's three on the other side of the fence, right? There are three skeletons yeah. on the other side of Gartix from you. Right. Uh, uh, is, there, uh, is there a way I can even get there? Because there's, really. does, your there's echo, does your echo occupy a space? I don't know. That's what I'm going to have to look at. Because that would be cool if I can just put my echo in his space and just use oh, it. Just the other side. I mean, you just put it through me, right? The other side? Uh, I'm going to make a ruling. I'm going to make a ruling for oh, this. Right, that's right. Oh, behind the skeletons, but so it can... For the sake yeah, but... of... I can't be fucked looking this up right now and spending five minutes searching it. I'm going to say a ruling of... Uh, it can't end its space in the same space. It can't end its turn in an occupied space, but it can pass through creatures. Uh, okay. So if you want to, uh, rather th you can either attempt to climb over the fence or attempt to go round Gartix in some way, or you can uh, have your echo walk through to the skeletons and then bonus action uh, swap. Um, oh, yeah, it seems yeah, but like I don't have to swap. I can, I can use. Or my you can just echo. attack from the echo. Yeah. So yeah, those are your options. So, if you want to move yourself without moving the echo, it's gonna be a check of some sort to figure out how you get there, or you can just move the echo and have the echo start wailing on them. Sure, I'll do that. Okay. I'll move the echo through the skeleton. Uh, through left, right, or middle. Um. Uh, okay, no. I'll go left. Okay. Make an attack roll. It, it does say that the echo occupies its space, but yeah. Uh, so uh, I don't know. You Fuck can use it. A bonus action to dismiss it and summon another one, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's a ball egg. I'm gonna say in this instance, yeah. the echo manages to squeeze round Gartax in a way that would be more difficult for you. Fuck it. All right. Um, that is that when you hit. That's 19 plus. Uh, yes, that six. will hit. Yeah. Uh, so that is... Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage? Yeah. Not bad. Okay, pretty good. Uh, it's looking rough. Uh... And... That is my turn. So he's now, Mako's now on the other side of those skeletons? Uh, yes. You can if you want to. Uh, unleash incarnation again. I can, but it doesn't have uh, to be an attack from you to unleash. But you no, don't. You don't have to. I know. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna save it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so that is the end of your go. Unless you have any other bonus sections. Mm. You can daunting roar, or you can second wind. I don't think you need to yeah. second wind. No. You can roar like a kitty. He can roar. <laughs> Don't know how well it would work on skele skeletons, but no, I'm 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 done. Okay. Uh, snake, snake time, sneaky, sneaky snake. snake. He's going to chomp at that one that's almost dead. He's gonna go bite it. Yeah. Okay, make an attack roll. Uh, 19. 19 hits. Uh, and you don't yes. even need to roll for this because it was looking well, very kept. rough. <laughs> you, Axio, you cleave down with your your two cameras onto this fucking uh, b -b 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 skeleton. skeleton. And as you pull them out, you just watch the snake make its way along the ground up to the top of the skeleton and it widens its jaw to an unbelievable size puts it round the head of this skeleton and just crunches it i hope he has a good bony meal 
Before opening his mouth and just letting the fragments drop out. Or not. <laughs> uh, nobody. There is a claw right, currently at so your feet. Slave land here. There's a claw currently trying to break your ankle. Mm -hmm. Um. What a dick. Then next to you in the wall, in the gap in the fence, is Big Centaur Boy. On the other side of Big Centaur Boy, there are two skeletons, one of which... No, both of which are just sort of readying their short swords. This fence situation, mm -hmm. could I, with my small, nimble body, just kind of... You can either try and climb over it, or you can try and go through Gartixic's legs. I'll go through his legs then. Okay. Baseball uh, slide through. Both of these are acrobatics or athletics checks. I'm going to say that the DC is lower for you to go between his legs because you are smaller. Acrobatics. Right, because you're you're considered small at this level, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'll say that it's a lower DC uh, for you. 14. Yeah. You drop to the ground, crawl away. Uh, the claw does get an attack of opportunity on you. It's a natural 18. Ugh. Uh, for five points of piercing damage. Of oh, slashing damage, sorry. His butt is crash. Okay. His butt of flesh uh, wound. I'll, uh, His butt of wound yeah, from the flesh thing. And there's but two skeletons. Yeah, I'll go to one of them. Uh, assuming that they had one of my other allies in melee range. Yes, them, so... so the middle one has both Gartix and Exio in melee range. Uh -huh. The far one has just uh, Gartix in melee range, but both of them you could flank with Gartix. Bet! I'll just... Uh, the first one I see. I will say the middle one, because to get to the other one and flank with Gartix, you would have to leave the range of the middle one and attack of opportunity, yada yada. Okay. Uh, so, the hit. is that with advantage? Yeah. Okay, you, it hits. Uh, this is um, going to be a wipeout. Ten points of slashing damage to the guy that I hit. Okay, he's looking then... very rough. With my Wails from the Grave, the other skeleton near me takes four points of necrotic damage. Takes four points of necrotic damage? Yes. Okay. And then bonus action, and I swing my other sword. Okay. Uh, there are 21 to hit. That hits? I don't add modifier to damage for offhand attacks, right? Mm, no. Unless you have a feat, I think, right? Uh, uh, no, you don't, unless you take uh, stuff later on. Yeah, so oh, no, I might be thinking of a fighting style. Three points of uh, slashing damage. On the same one? Yes. He fucking did. Yes, we... Hell yeah. Okay. Anything else you would like to do? No. Okay. Uh, Gartix, it's your turn. There is one claw behind you. Uh, about 10 feet away and there's a skeleton in front of you 5 feet away uh, are there not 2 skeletons in front of me? nope snake killed one nobody just killed the other well in that case I will recklessly attack the hand ok uh, make your attack rolls I mean 90 in the hit yeah that hits it's, it's dead yeah, and then spin around and uh, with the tooth pommel end of my glaive. So you, bonus you action. stab you stab down with the gla glaive into the claw. Yeah, and then just in the pullback carry it through into the jaw of yeah. the skeleton. Which, because of reckless attack, still has advantage. Which is a natural sixteen. That so hits. Twenty three. That hits. Um, No, I think this is a D4. It's a D4, actually. but you also get your rage damage to it. So it's a D4 plus, plus your... Is it also plus my strength? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let Game me ability modifier check. is the primary attack. So... Yeah, so plus your strength plus two. So plus, plus D4 plus, plus, plus seven. seven. Yeah. What should be a three? 
It's a four. It's a four. So okay. Eleven points of damage. It's Four's looking damage. rough. You knock its jaw flying, and it just sort of looks at you. Oh, that's annoying. Couldn't just be death, could it? No. That's what I got. Okay. All our mass is fucking. Awesome. It's now its turn. It is gonna attack you with advantage because you're reckless. Yes, sir. Oh no, snake. It's a natural eighteen. Snake already had yeah, a turn. It killed a thing. I thought Snake was after... Snake Gartic. was no, Snake after Exio, before nobody, Gartic. before Gartix. Oh, that's yeah, right. Snake My bad. Like super high Snake thing. killed someone this round. Snake yeah. killed a guy. Snake Christ. committed a murder. <laughs> that guy is not a, is it a man on fire? Uh, so you take... I killed a guy with a trap. Uh, three points halved down to one uh, piercing damage. Because I rolled a fucking not, one on the damage dice. It's not within my range, is it? No, it's not. It's the only one that wouldn't have been in with, within your range. The others are dead. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Shame. Uh, what the fuck? And that's all it can do. It yeah. is now Autumn's turn. There is one oh. creature left. You can't see it because it's on the other side of the fence. Is. Um, you said I can't see? You cannot see it. It is on the other side of the fence. There's a whole lot of horse ass in the way. Yup. Horse ass. Horse ass and man back. And how far away from me is it? Uh, it is... I'm going for a fugue state for a second. No, I was fucking <laughs> messing with music. Uh, you don't know. You don't know where it is. Well, how far is the fence? About. Am I only 30 feet away? No, because you were not... You were right on the edge of the group before you teleported, so you're about 40 feet mm, away. Okay, okay. So, okay. You're about well, 40 feet away from the fence. All of your friends are there. I'll at least use my movement to get as close as I can. Okay. To, so, like, 10 feet-ish away, right? Yeah. Does that change what I can see? You can see a centaur ass in the middle of this hole in the fence. Hell yeah! <laughs> you can vaguely okay. catch the um, tail end of nobody crawling beneath its legs and getting up and stabbing something. Okay. Well, whenever I see what it is they're attacking, can I just ready something to fire off? Sure. What are you going to ready? Just Bearing in mind, if you ready anything that is a spell that isn't a cantrip, you expend the spell slot, whether it goes off or right, not. Right, right. Um, I'll just ready... I'll just ready another Eldritch Blast. Like, if I see a skeletal... Anything that's not my friend or the little boy or his dad. <laughs> pop its head up. Okay. Uh, good to know. I mean, this thing's going to be dead by the time we get back around, so... Probably. Well, but it doesn't have to pop its head up. It's not going to wait that whole time to pop its head up, necessarily. Uh, Exio, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll move my echo over. You move your echo over and make an attack roll. That is 17 to hit. It's dead. Dap, 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 <laughs> dap, 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 dap. Huh? How do you want to finish off this final skeleton with your grey translucent image? Uh, I'll just cross my commas and just so killing. What does uh, Exio do while his do. echo does this? What does Exio do? Uh, is, he like, is he like mimicking the fucking like movement? Are they like, shadow boxing together? Like he has no, 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 no. To do the, the echo that gets, his gets echo down does. with the thing, the commas, and then the regular one goes, do it, <laughs> do it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. And with that. Um, no, can I? Can I? Hmm. Can, I, can I? Can I just hold the with the echo? I'll hold him like uh, kind of like hostage with like the commas, and then with Axio, he'll jump over. Uh, 
Scar tits. You, so you're going to climb the fence while your Echo holds this skeleton. Yeah. And then come back down and then kill it. Yeah. I'll allow it because it's the last one and there's nothing to stop you. Well, there you go. So you Easy. will watch as Axios Echo sort of wraps its arms around this creature, digs the cameras in to stop it from breaking the grasp. Next year just walks over and pulls the head off the skeleton. That's so fucking cool, man. <laughs> Beautifully done. Is everything alright over there now? I just kind of fucking oh, it. And it's at this point through the fence. that you all begin to realize there's something going on here. There's a little okay, on more. That note, can we split this in two since it's 11? Everyone's down for another session of this, so it's like a better time. <laughs> I, yes, I was getting to that. How dare you yeah. interrupt my, my scene change. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, wow. sorry, sorry. How dare you sorry, interrupt sorry. my my Insane. color scene change that I somehow prepped like an hour and ten minutes before the stream. So, I would heavily suggest that for the sake of brevity those of you that uh, you all have the discussion of we need to finish a fucking rest because nobody has yeah. got the benefits of a long rest no he hasn't nobody ah <laughs> oh, fuck off um so uh we will say that the homeowners, thank you for your help. Tell you you should get a long rest and come back to investigate on the morrow. Yep. You will collapse into your respectfully Thanks. mediocre rooms. And that is where we will leave it for this time. Beautiful. And Beautiful. We will, I'm somehow now being coerced into a two shot. Coerced by our fucking. So, slow, uh. <laughs> so from the moment you guys went to sleep that was chapter three which is duration 45 minutes yes uh arriving in wilden was chapter two which was one to two hours at right. most right. and that in the woods was supposed to take 15 to 30 minutes and that's including the introductory setup right so technically there's we only also not roleplay among each other that is true there's technically there's one there's one and a half to two and a half hours of content yet left. I'm sure that will stretch into at least yeah, another three hours. Three hours, dude, at least. If you have to pad the fucking combat encounters a bit to drag it out, I'm all about that. Oh, I mean class is so sick. Don't worry, Autumn will have lots of really irrelevant questions. I mean and tangents. I can make the combats harder. And weirdly correct conspiracies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's goblins, uh, guys. Okay, so thank you all very much for being here and joining us. Uh, are we divinitying tomorrow? I don't know um, because oh. uh, I have D and D. How dare I? And then you might and be I boofed after. Well, I, I might not be done by the time we start. So when yeah. I was like, oh. We could, we'll miss, and you were like, no, we won't miss Divinity, because it's, yeah. But yeah. We, were we were supposed to start earlier, but we, we pushed back the starting okay. time a couple hours, so now I'm That's like, fine. You know That's I mean? fine. So, probably no Divinity tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be no discourse this week. Um, I would say, no. if there's no discourse hmm. this week, and everyone has time, we could do this on the Thursday. Is everyone available at this sort of same time on a Thursday evening? Uh, what time did we start? So. 2 p.m. We started at 2 p.m. Yeah. my time. I won't be available till, like, 3 my time. So it would probably be And that's to... if I immediately switch over to Discord from mm. my class. Fucking nerd. Uh, um, we'll, we'll talk it out and we'll figure it out yeah, and then we'll, we'll tweet, we'll we'll tweet when we're gonna yeah. be live next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, back to... Normal viewership on the coming Sunday as we go back yes. to uh, Dungeon Select, where we're going to be potentially traveling to 
my character's home continent, home oh, home a region. Lot stuff, a lot of stuff and things happening. It's getting spicy. Yeah. Okay, so thank you all very much for being here and allowing me to DM a very chaotic and impromptu one-shot. <laughs> it's busy. Yeah, thanks uh, for doing it. I hope people yep. had a lovely time. I hope everyone has enjoyed viewing. Uh, is anyone live right now? Have a look. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Don't think so. No. I nope. really need art of Autumn just awkwardly hugging a snake. Like, you know when little kids hold cats under their front legs? Yes. And she's just holding the snake like that. Okay. So, uh, nobody else is live, so that's all it from us. We will say our oh, goodbyes. Yeah. Uh, and Good night, gamers. if we don't see you before, we'll see you all next Sunday. I know it's been weird having me DM, but hey, nobody's died yet and nobody's cried, so. Stop. Nobody no, it's died. not. That's <laughs> just not true. Nobody that's just lied. not true. Oh, I'm dying shut up. and crying internally. Shut up. <laughs> All of you, shut up. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.